<laughs> there we go. Man, it's tower time. And honestly, yesterday, that whole war machine thing reminded me that. Oh, it reminded me of something I forgot. I debated it a while ago, and I even set it up. Then I forgot it, and yesterday I was reminded about the audio setup. Because I already had it set up for like months. I mean, it's it's been like this for like over a year now. With the whole software splitting. <laughs> I mean, why not? Although, I think I forgot because... Like, when was the last time I did listen to random music during stream? I think it was Fallout 3? Nah. Actually, I think it was New Vegas. I think I didn't listen to anything. Actually... Hmm... I don't remember. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Tower of Time. And that was like... Early. Early 23? Hold on, let's, let's look at it. Let's look at the dates. I don't know why I'm trying to remember this now. Also, network seems pretty weak today. Obviously, when it matters, it's weak. When it doesn't matter, it's not. Oh my god, I completely forgot I did Hitman. <laughs> A month ago. Two months, almost two months ago. What the hell? <laughs> Tactics. And, man, I hate YouTube. What the fuck are they doing with YouTube getting worse every fucking time? Uh, I hate this place. Pull out one, two... Oh shit, I did Battle for Middle Earth 2 as well. I forgot that too. Although it only took like a week. <laughs> it was a short game. Short game. Pull out three... That was half a year ago. New Vegas I finished half a year ago. That was last day, last year. November. Holy shit. More than half a year. Huh. But I think somewhere throughout the halfway point of Fallout 3 I stopped listening to random music, I think. At least I don't remember listening to random shit uh, during the last stream. When I <clears throat> blew up the uh, Brotherhood of Steel, yes, I killed everyone. I killed the Enclave, I killed the Brotherhood of Steel, I destroyed America's future, its hope for rebuilding. And someone didn't like that. <laughs> someone disliked that VOD <laughs> on YouTube, like what? Anyways, uh, someone didn't appreciate my... Uh, Homicidal Maniac Run. Hey, Bob. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't see chat because I was looking at other shit. And it covered up chat. Sorry, Bob. Please. Please. Don't be upset. Also, it's 1859 for me. But in Twitch chat, it's already 1902. Mmm, what? Anyways. What were, oh, I was just looking at uh, when I was last doing uh, Fallout 3. It was like half a year ago. It's 2002 for you as well. Wait, 2002? Oh, you guys didn't turn back the the clock. Uh, so you guys don't do the uh, the clock uh, changing anymore? We still do it. Yeah, yeah, we still do the uh, winter and summer clock shit. So it's only 19... 1900 right now. Well, apparently it's 1904 or 2004. Or wait, are you in? You should be in the same time zone, right? Although you might actually you might be in one more than me. I, I didn't it even occur to me. No idea. Usually happen automatically. No, I think you might be in GMT plus three then. Eh. 
It doesn't matter, Bob. It's... It's night time. Um, also, what, what did you say? Decided to ask in comments according to the mind creators. The one year ago, one creator is on break. Nine months ago, one is planning to make a few episodes before the year is over. You see? I told you that you shouldn't knock them. It's actually pretty good that they, you know, you asked and they immediately got back to you, like Vinan and A. That's pretty cool. That's an active community. Nice! That's nice. But yeah, I was looking at the uh, Fallout 3 stream dates, because I think that was somewhere around that time was the last time I listened to uh, music on stream that was not recorded, so I just listened to it for myself. Some random shit. Uh, because yesterday, with the whole War Machine thing, you reminded me that I had the audio stuff, uh, audio split set up ages ago, <laughs> and I just kind of forgot. So now it's on. So if you want, we can listen to music on stream, and the recording wouldn't have it. Yes. Although I usually just, you know, back back when I set it up, I just listen to it and not even the live stream uh, had it on. It was just for me, because I, I listened to any kind of random shit that usually didn't match the game. <laughs> and, you know, I, I find it easier that, you know, everybody can just listen to their own music in the background. They don't have to accept if, uh, the streamer's thing. Because I had people come in and, and were like, what the fuck is this music? Well, I'm mostly one person. <clears throat> you might know him as Blass. He used to be very upset that I listened to music he didn't like, and he constantly wanted his uh, Russian agenda on me, but I was like, no, you're not listening to war music. Get out of here. And that was before the war. That was back in... Be that was before Corona. <laughs> Man, can you believe that it's almost five years, Bob? Five years. Sounds about right. What? I already don't remember. <laughs> oh, your GMT? Yeah, yeah. Left a comment under the last video in the series and they just get don't get many views. They probably just got one notification and suddenly responded. Yeah, maybe. That could be the thing as well. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm just dying. Left a comment under the four years ago one they didn't respond yet. They are fucking dead. Or maybe they just, you know, stopped the YouTube thing. They just left the scene. Some people actually do that. You know, they kind of burn out, disappear. Life gets uh, more complicated and they just don't have time. Or they did die. I mean, that's always the possibility. I mean, you did say that one of the guys died, so, you know. Life happens, I guess. Speaking of dying. Although, let's not. <laughs> the network! <laughs> System processing machines interconnected together into one giant network. Kayla shakes her head in appreciation at the sight of it. Why, why is she shaking her head? That's not what. That's not normal response. She's like, what a machine. I don't know. The network. It's the internet. The internet survived. Aren't you happy? Oh, what are these? Orcs? Orcs, alright. Last video was three weeks ago. Uh, I don't know. Leave them a comment asking if they saw your previous comment. <laughs> Sound of approaching voices causes your champions to, to dive for cover. Considering themselves behind large pieces of equipment, they watch silently as a group of armored humans. <gasps> Wait, they ain't. Wait, that's not the same group. I saw some orcs. What the happened? What the hell happened to those? A group of armored humans walks into view. Their armor is very large, ornately decorated and adorned with flamboyant, colorful feathers. They are from the other world. Though they carry blades, they also have metal rods with the look of ancient machinery slung around their bodies. Unaware of your presence, you watch as the humans with an uncommon tone to their skin speak in an unfamiliar tongue. Unfamiliar tongue. No way! They don't speak English. 
They don't look like the Magi or Ancients. And I'm most certainly not Ancients, not as I remember my people anyway. But the weapons, they seem similar to some of the devices from your time. I guess they are. There's only one way to find out. Man, now I guess it's gonna be like, hello, we come in peace. They're gonna attack us, obviously. I mean, look at them. And then I won't be able to change the party formations. Although, I don't think I will need to. Going was 10 hours ago? Almost for 10 years ago? What? Is it any possible that they are in some time zone which is currently busy? Maybe. Wait, you wrote it 10 years ago, but sent it 10 hours ago? Why did you wait 10 years to send it? Connie strains us up and steps out from his cover. His presence sends the strange humans into a defensive posture. Why even Kayla step out of the, to help persuade the strangers? Wait, did they just step out and go like, Ooh, we are women. Don't worry. <laughs> like, what? Uh, strangers, the fight is not in their best interest. Ah, I see. The girl's presence breaks the tension, convincing the strange humans to lower their weapons with a smile. I mean, they they read their information uh, and they were like, Oh my god, both of them have a 100% crit chance. We have no chance of succeeding. The Borrowner can move from cover next. The unfamiliar visitors explode with shouts and raise their weapons high above their heads, ready to strike. Because they are racist! One of the men in... The rear of their group turns and rushes off as fast as his feet will carry him. Oh shit. Fight. Oh look, there they are. How did they... What? What? No way, that's stupid. They were the ones. I thought they were the orcs because of the, uh, the, the staff. The staves, right? Because that's where we came from, from the top there. And I was like, ooh, we're gonna fight some orcs. Let's go fight some orcs. And then it just did this scene where we like, oh no, they rush away and then suddenly they're behind us, but they were already there! <gasps> Someone fucked up! <laughs> Newcomers surround your champions, condensing the bulk of their number around Boron, Rakan, Whisper and Eric. Directed at these members of your party, their shots continue to amplify in strength and frequency. Though you do not understand their words, they're clearly highly angered, as if personally insulted. A bunch of Nazis, dude. Future Nazis. You mean why you were typing the Twitch message you wrote 10 years ago at first and you corrected it to 10 hours ago? Oh! Oh, I'm scrolling, but I don't see the 10 years. Oh, you almost wrote 10 years ago. Almost wrote. Okay, I didn't see the almost. Or maybe I just didn't... It just didn't click in my head. Why would you put that in brackets? If you corrected it before you sent it. I wouldn't have known. That's just unnecessary complications, Bob. Unnecessary complications. You're <laughs> just confusing me. Why do you toy with my... My streamer ba brain. God damn. The apparent leader of the group finally turns to face Kane, Maiv, and Kayla. A single comprehensible word escapes his incessant shouts. Traitors! Before anyone in your party can make sense of what's truly going on, a battle ensues. Oh no, not a battle. Soldiers with a high degree of discipline who seek out the best battlefield locations to fire upon their enemies with their dangerous pistols, able to penetrate armor with ease. Ooh. Not a lot of damage, but basically goes through... Well, I mean... Actually, it's a lot of damage if, if they target uh, Eric. Eric is going to melt from these. Oh wait, that's their armor. This is their penetration. I mean, it's... Okay, it's a lot less. It's like 30 less. Almost. But, yeah, whatever. They don't like Earth and Air. Okay, so they are basically the final tier of the uh, skeletons. Actually, no. Skeletons didn't like fire either, right? So they're not the skeletons. But I mean, who cares? We have so much penetration for Eric and Rakim. They don't care about the 70%. Plus, Eric has the 30% uh, shatter. The earth element or the water splash guys, splash mounting guys will just not care either. Even though it's only 30% of the damage that goes through, it's fine. 
we don't care about them and they have stun grenade just stuns for three seconds not much to care about high guard heavy shields and robust weapons keep these soldiers embedded in the front line the word retreat is unknown to them huh they look stupid they have decent damage decent penetration a lot of armor holy crap okay they all right they can dash no target is melee range, they dash, and if they impact, they do some armor reduction. Alright, not much, 20. Inquisitore. Speaking in strange tongues and wielding staffs, staves. Topped with bizarre shaped croziers? Croissants? These warriors summon elemental winds to the battlefield. <gasps> Eric's! Almost, kind of, not really. 10% penetration. Buckle damage. Remember, our resistances are 80%, so this will not do much. <laughs> they have decent armor, though. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, look, only 60% water resistance. <laughs> Ice bolt. Nothing and nothing. 80 damage, so 10 water damage per t uh, second. That's nothing. Shoots a fall of unholy frost that explodes upon impact in 3 meter radius. Cases all targets struck in ice gauge. For 12 seconds with 100 health. So don't bunch up because then we all get shut on for 12 seconds. Although they can't hurt what's in the ice cage either. So if they encase all of us, you know, they will have to wait 12 seconds. <laughs> oh well. Practical human soldiers of the pure empire are sorting your party. They want to purify your group. Well, I mean. Uh -huh. Because I thought it was humorous. Humor or O's. Jesus Christ. Using the fucking Omega Lols as O's is so disgusting. I approve. <laughs> How may I help you? Ah! Right between the eyes. Ooh, it's those gold plated crystals. Uh, they look ugly. Ooh, what is this? Are these all tower avatars? Oh no, they are orcs. Why are the orcs in the. Uh... You know, they look nasty. And they're moving. Maybe they're not moving. No, I lied. And it's, it's another new arena. I like it. They really, they really worked on a lot of arenas, like you know, to have variety and shit. It's pretty cool. Look at these stargates. They have a classic spaceship door from sci-fi. Look, they, they even put the uh, the fucking things on the floor, like scuffings, high traffic all over the place. I like what they, what they did. Oh, there's the drunk orc with the, uh, you know, the barf all over the place. It's pretty cool. These old rocks here and there are kind of weird, but, you know, pretty cool. I like it. Right, let's go yes. kill some people. You know what? We can just stay here. Of course. What the fuck are you we doing? Do. All right. All righty then. I'm gonna stand in there because you're cool. Affirmative. Right between the eyes. Get fucked. On my way. Get stunned, bitch. What, where are you going? Way. Oh, they can't shoot through this? That's weird. All Can you right. shoot these guys? Oh, these are high Good high walls. Day. Even these are high walls. I mean, that kind of yes, makes things different. Something's no. coming. I'm a lord. Oh yeah, look, high wall. He can't, he can't really uh, Money. do his thing. That's yes. okay. W! Blah! Yes, moving! Dude, what are you doing? Yes, moving! Moving out! 
Mani Marte. Uma de la... Tezolale. Right between the eyes. Mani Marte. Unleash hell. Watching a lot of shows right now. Why why yes. do you do this to yourself? They have ADHD. I don't think I've ever asked, but Of course. I hope it's not an insensitive question, but like you are oh. constantly just maxing out your potential. Money. Manga. Manga. Although I mean binging binging shit too but yes yes i do just stop from time to time you know oh look what's going on over there yes my lord aha he will not die pew 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 pew, pew. done Your endgame goal has become to watch all the relevant Nickelodeon sitcoms. What 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 do you mean by relevant? In release order from 1996 to 2023. 1390 episodes, movie specials, and around 290 hours of life wasted. I mean if you think of it as life wasted, then you already know the answer of uh, the answer to the question that should you watch it? Well, apparently not. Oh, Because if you're enjoying yourself, it's not wasted time. I mean, if you purely look at it from a productivity standpoint, it might be a waste of time, but that could go to a lot of things. Watching the game uh, on the weekend, uh, playing some ball with your son, a waste of fucking time! <laughs> Having fun is a waste of time. No matter what the fun might be. Taking taking the missus out for dinner, waste of time and money, you know. <laughs> Life stumbles, clutching her side in pain and dropping her bow to the floor. She didn't even get scratched in this fight. In that pause, Connie rushes to the marksman's side. Oh my god, their romance blooms again. Hey, there's a chest up there. Ooh. You're hurt. I know the last battle went more poorly for you. Then you let on. He, some of Rakem is uh, rubbing off on Kane. It's nothing really. I just need a few minutes. Nonsense! You stop here. Noble elf, we uh, need of your healing herbs. Baron Baron, some fresh water. Where the fuck? Wait, what? I, just because he's from the mountains, you think he's gonna just find fresh water in this place? What the hell? Racism? Looking deep into Kane's eyes. Okay. I'm fine. I wouldn't conceal a serious wound from you. Oh, but she is, though. Her heart aches with love. Alright, <laughs> never mind, people. We're not stopping here. Seeing the concerned, befuddled look on Connie's face, Mive's eyes, a slight shake of her head, and smirk. Just help me walk for a bit. For a bit? What? Taking a Mive's bow in one hand and the marksman in his other, your champions continue on. Wow, what a man. Small chest. Ooh. Another shield. Place your bets. Is it going to be absolute fucking garbage? <gasps> oh, look at that! 14%! Alright, so. If you put armor on this. It's 20. So it can be 28 with the Obsidian Shield 2, with better resistances, but we don't care about that. Like, I mean, look at him. 3 out of 4 are maxed. More health, more mana, more movement speed, more attack speed. It's an upgrade! Almost completely upgrade, but not quite. So, that's enchanted. Oh my god, it's an actual fucking upgraded shield. Hallelujah. Alright, so, 28, so we lose 3, but we get 2% more, and since everything is high armor on him, it should increase. No! 
It's the set. <laughs> no, I mean we still get more resistances, more health, mana, movement speed, and attack speed. We get everything upgraded, other than the armor, which is the one I want him to upgrade. But it looks a lot better than this ugly fucking shit. So, bye. <gasps> what about this thing? Ooh, nice defenses. Um. Cool. Yay. I've had thoughts about that, but you never asked anyone qualified to diagnose you? Oh, the ADHD and stuff? Yeah. Is it, uh, is it the fear? That what, what could be if you actually had something wrong with you? Because that's probably what's keeping me from getting diagnosed. Because <laughs> I'm not diagnosed either, but there is clearly something wrong with me. Since young in years, I've been different from the rest of my peers. Oh, what the fuck is that? It's a four. Oh, that's gonna be a glass bow, isn't it? Yep, spectral glass bow of ruin. It's the skill power bow. Faster, no damage. It's air only, so armor penetration would not matter. And it doesn't give magic penetration. What? Eh. Garbage. Garbage. Spending time with people is a waste of time. Everything is a waste of time. Because we are constantly losing time. So, you know. <laughs> If, if next time someone uh, lectures you on, you know, watching series is a waste of time, Bob Romix, tell them that uh, arguing about that is also a waste of time. Because everything is a waste of time. Because we're just losing it constantly. We cannot gain time. As a scroll, it said that long, long ago, each race had descended from brute beasts. It was a time where the strongest survived by preying on the weakest. Why this dark time is a thing of the past. But it surely remains influential today. Plus one might. So might gives us penetration. Who needs more pen so she could have more penetration, so I would have more pleasing looking numbers. Yeah, damage and penetration. I want more pleasing numbers. Yes, 100! No! It's still 49! Why? You have betrayed me for the last time, Maev. Ah. Shit. I mean, I can give it more crits. <laughs> Why not? 107. Alright. The Archives, the console reverse to the storage repository of knowledge is the Archives. It would seem that countless centuries of wisdom lie buried in the depths of this tower. The mechanical arms used to reach the shells are still operable. Unfortunately, there is no time for study. Alright. Cool. It's mostly social anxiety. Hey, I know the feeling. I mean, you might know me as someone who just won't shut up, but it's only... It's only on, th on streams, because this is how it's easy. Uh, yeah. It's definitely a, r a bad fountain, but someone's got a drink from it. <laughs> People don't know how to knock. Right. No! Her elemental resistances are decreased by five. Uh... Right. <laughs> Vault of Noladge. Little golems. Oh, look, more humans. Watching sitcoms is more enjoyable than playing video games nowadays. Mm. Are you growing up? 
think it might influence the writing for the better? I mean, maybe. It depends what you're writing about, you know? You know? If you're writing sitcom, then, you know, you could get some inspiration and stuff. What the fuck do you want? Damn, my own cat is shit-talking me. Why? Oh, Jesus. Picking out a glass framed painting from the desk reveals a perfectly preserved letter. It reads, Magus Walter. Incursions in three lower levels by the Tower's crystal golems increases weekly. The lethality of the constructs has also risen to alarming levels. You must move all remaining mana to the lower storage facility as soon as possible. Magus Malakai! It's not the same guy, he writes it differently, but. Still. Ooh! Elemental Spirit! This is the last thing. Increase in mana by 8%. That's pooters. That's poopy. Oh, we got a water one. So now we need the earth one, and then we're funsies. Wait, what the hell? Did I miss that? How did I miss that? How did I? What in the fuck? How did I miss the gold and the letter? Was I not holding? Oh, I was not holding uh, alt to check. And thus I missed money. And that is unacceptable. Reverse. But it influences it? I mean, influence is influence. Only you can decide whether you feel it's better or not. I certainly don't know. Lesser scroll for a plus one life. Rakim gets the plus one life because I did reroll him for less life, so getting that life back up is, is okay. Plus, I can reroll him and lower his life and increase his might, you know? <laughs> Yay. Alright, let's go back and get the... Uh, actually, this is shorter. The sea is a shorter way. Oh, it's not, because there's actually no no way to pass. Cheat day. Oh my god, someone just opened the fucking door. I think it was my cat. Hold on. I'm telling you right now that summer is going to be fucking deadly. I can just feel it in my bones. Every cell in my body is screaming. 45 degrees Celsius! Uh, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> We're writing an anthology comedy? Still? Exactly a sitcom, but still comedy, so it's something. I mean, you can really tell what comedy is. Oh! Alright, what the fuck is this noise device? It's definitely not here. But... But it's there, though. Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna find or try and find the pixel. It might not exist, so let's just believe. Look, that thing is glowing! It's Gloin, the dwarf from Lord of the Rings. All right, who wants to level up? Gain some skill trees. Oh yeah, she doesn't actually need skill points. She's she's fine. She's, she's done. Although I could increase her explosion arrows. Yeah. Woo! Ha ha. Yay! Pushback. Yeah, because this is maxed. Yeah. Meh. It does weakness. Let's let's do the bleeding. Although this looks better than this. I mean, that blood thing is kind of weird. Like all these arrows are falling, and only in the middle there's blood. <laughs> but I mean, this weakness. Honestly, we don't care about the enemy's damage. Because. I guess, you know, people will just die or not, it doesn't matter. 
Speed is maxed out. Ooh, so what do we do now? Mastery? Mana regen. Mana regen. Regeneration. <laughs> she gets 3% skill power. Sure. I mean, I guess. I mean, yeah, sure. Skill power is actually useful for this. I mean, it's useful for this as well, but it's so tiny that we don't care. And this is not used for damage. And this doesn't care about skill power. And I don't care about this very much for damage. It's just, you know, fourth ability. I could do with the bow, actually, and just, you know. What would the bow be? Booby. Long range crossbow that lives for 40 seconds or duration is set. Oh, so this just lowers mana cost. Multiple bows can be summoned. So for 50 mana, we can. I mean, she could cast them. Could have two bows up. Every two seconds they shoot. I mean, she's not really faster either. Low cost. I don't want to micromanage that. Then again, I don't want to micromanage this either. They're air damage. And they are summon. So they this tiny ass damage would not be able to have any magic penetration. I'd rather go with the rain of arrows because that's at least affected by her uh, armor piercing or armor penetration and since she's got a hundred armor penetration that still goes through most of the enemy's armor or you know all of the armor of most of the enemies we encounter so I'll just do that I'll just do that uh, let's go back to the tower you want to watch some anthology comedies but they aren't as popular as sitcoms I don't even know what they are don't think you've ever heard of any? Me neither, Bob. Though I don't watch a lot of series. No! Your shield is so much cooler. Pure Empire zealots have discovered ancient mono orbs here. They will rather destroy them than let them fall into the hands of your party. Oh no, I hate that defense. Defense serve, my is my Lord. least favorite game mode. I mean, how many of we have? Two. Two orbs. These two orbs. Can these totems hurt the orbs? They might be able to hurt the orbs. You have to destroy them. I'm a lord. They're definitely shooting at way. someone. Alright, you, you have to... Pew pew pew! And then go. Heru Amin. Manka. And you have to stand over here to attack. I never miss. <laughs> At your service. Make them invulnerable. Haha! <laughs> I can make them invulnerable. Nice. Yes. Cool beans. Right between the eyes. Alright. He might be okay. How may I help? He locks this place the down, which is fine. He locks Lord? this place down, which is fine. Money Marte. Keeps killing things. Yes. We can can put up more garbage, all right? We we'll, we're cool. Haha! <laughs> I'm painting outside the uh, thing. Oh, the towers can actually bleed. Bleed. Same. Towers are getting shot on. I'm a lord. 
Yes, destroy them. Yes, my lord. How is this guy doing? Increase everybody's armor. Heal everybody. Yes, moving. Increase your own Money armor even dead. further. Down more of these dudes. Some healing yes. over there. Paint. Yeah. Hanging, I guess, does something. How do I mean? Oh well. Maybe a common theme? Oh, and totally mostly means that you show where each episode has different main characters? Ah. Unleash hell. Wee, look at me paint! Oh no, they're dying! Lord. Any more enemies? Oh, they're having fun That's with him. Money not there. Are those the last people? Yes, my lord. Oh no, there's someone else. They're dead. Shoot them. I don't know why I'm not speeding this up, because I could. Yeah, I should. Wee. See how much it did nothing over there. Sire? Oh, oh, we're done. Some connection, but the episode series is mostly unrelated and they're supposed to stand on their own. So, what's the point of it being a series? What is this thing? Are these the nodes? Oh, look, they took some damage. Oh, this one actually took some damage. That percent damage mitigated. Whoa. I did it receive 385. But this one is healthy, and this one barely has any, any damage on it. And I can't heal them with the totems. Wait. Is this asshole able to heal them? His heal wounds is able to heal the the nodes. I mean that would actually make sense because we did have, I think we had one uh, defense battle, while I only had uh, Kane and Maeve as party members before I got the elf. So it would make sense that his healing can heal the nodes because otherwise that mission or that fight could have been more difficult. But I mean meh. It's fine. We got some poopy boots. Actually, they have decent amounts of slots. However, I mean, they're not bad. They're basically the same as this, but worse. I mean, worse armor that I don't care about. More movement speed and attack speed. Actually, they are better. I would lose the resistance aura, but and the mastery. But the mastery is only for mana regen and uh, power of skill as it. I mean, look at that. She doesn't need that shit. But maybe this is better. Because it gives extra 5% attack speed. 152%! And 10.2 movement speed. You know what? I'll, I'll keep that. Because I can also put... Oh, I can't put attack speed on it. What? Why? Why? Upsetting. Oh. And this is... Oh, this would lose a lot of crit chance. Holy shit. You don't care about that uh, tiny amount of thingy. And I guess I could craft this anyways. Master Engineer's chest. Speed, mana region, skill power increase. Mm. We don't care about any of that. The speed is okay, but nothing else is really good. And here, the crit chance is good, but I can I can put the crit chance. Oh no! Actually, this is very good because it has the crit chance. 
without enchanting, and it has spectral sight on top of that. Because I think head armor. Yeah, so it has the crit chance without the true sight enchantment, and it has the spectral sight, which is this on it. Yeah. Only have the first level of this as well! What the fuck? Is it one level only? Man, why do they give you the uh, fucking things if it doesn't have higher level stuff? Because yeah, if I crafted a helmet for it, I would have to get something of Devastation, because Devastation is the critical chance. And I mean, why do I care? But the, uh, the chest could be uh, re-rolled at this point. But then again, it doesn't matter because we don't care about defenses. We might have a unique universe or unique presentation style that stays cons consistent. True. Like what you're doing with your with your stuff, it, it's basically in the same same universe, same timeline, same location mostly. Things are also happening simultaneously sometimes. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. I haven't seen a lot of those things though. In TV. Television. In any series or anything. What is this? Oh, this is for... Oh, look! I was just about... Just talking about re-rolling the chest. Look at those resistances. Wow, but we lose... Lose all the other stuff and this is green. Green! That was it? What the fuck? Oh, we go this way. Okay. Okay. Series allows for shorter episodes so you don't have to add filler. True. Although I imagine a lot of series do add fillers. Just look at Game of Thrones. Half of it was rubbish. Path before your champions grew is oddly quiet. I don't like this. I got the feeling we're being watched. Without warning. Whisper's form explodes into black vapor, leaving her little more than a dark cloud lingering in the air. That's fine, we never used her. She can die. Ambush! Oh my god! No sooner than the ver leaves, the mystic slips. Those fly through the air from every direction. Your champions dive for any cover they can find, while Boron raises his armored forearm. And he actually has armored forearms now, because he, he has enough levels that he's got some armor on there. And does his best to mitigate the damage. Oh, he's mitigating. Wow. So cool. That guy has a shield glued to his hand. Because I don't think he's holding the uh, handle of it. Where did they come from? From the shadows, dozens of strangely armored humans emerge. I guess that answers that. They came from the shadows. One of them donning armor painted in white and cream colors with black feather shouts out in broken English. Defilers, blasphemers, you go against the one true God, you die like vermin. Oh, they're from Earth. They are Bible thumpers. Racists. <laughs> Audio fireman, you have us confused with someone. Another barrage of arrows cuts Kane off mid-sentence. The leader continues, ignoring Kane's plea. Lies will not save you. Your conviction must be told in blood. They are the Spanish Inquisition. The first law of his word. All other races must be purged. Oh god. Die, humanoid sympathizers. Die, traitors. Damn. The Spanish Inquisition. Alright, they have different dudes. So they have the High Guard. They have the Inquisitor. They have the First Knight. Whoa. Can't find anything like it. The only thing close to your main inspiration is original cut of season four of Arrested Development. Uh, what about the first three seasons? Where does where does bad? If it wasn't a series, it would probably be a movie, which means each concept would have to be grand and huge or full of filler. True. Yeah. That's, that kind of makes sense. It's better for series. 
if you go with that style of stuff. What am I doing? Oh yeah. These heavily armored knights, really massive two-handed swords, appear unbalanced. Oh no, they are broken. They are deadly in close quarters combat. That's what it means! They're unbalanced! <laughs> oh. They are Imba. No, I mean, they, they have quite a... Yeah, yeah, I mean, they are just tanky. They just tank. They don't have much. They, they tank. Oh, no! They don't like water! <laughs> uh, increase armor aura. Defensive aura armor of allies increased by 30. I remember when this was my death. I lost like one battle in this entire game so far. I think, or maybe two. But one I remember was at the very beginning with those armored guys. When they were just stacking on top of each other. Increasing each other's armor to like sky high. And we were not able to go through. But guess what? This time we don't give a fuck about armor. Only one character cares about armor and she can go through like a hundred. Which is, I mean, she won't go through this guy's basic armor. So, uh, Maeve is going to be useless, but she's got the bleed arrows. And the fucking uh, root traps. She's she's fine. So yeah, these, these guys not threatening at all. Voice of purity! Oh god, it's a doomsayer. Warriors from foreign lands speaking words of fire to burn their enemies to cinders from afar. Okay, so fire damage, which is going to be mitigated by 80%. Not a lot of health, decent amount of armor, 10% pen. Ah, that's okay. And they don't like water? Oh, no. Drain life. Oh, it's a lich. So yes, these are the last level of uh, skeletons, but they like fire, so interesting. Heal, yeah, so they just drain. Earth damage, that's not much. Supreme Judicator. Experts in the extended blade and elemental force of air. Only the most skilled female warriors made up this title. Wow, that's sexist. Only women can have Supreme Judicator? Men cannot become Supreme Judicators? What kind of society are these from? They have a lot of armor and health. Some penetration. Damn, they really like fire. That's okay. Rakem goes through this easily. He's got like 110% penetration. And they don't like water either, so, you know. Oh, they can teleport. Short distance to a tactically better position. I kind of want to see how the AI handles this. Teleport. Like, what's the tactically better position? Will they just teleport in the face of my ranged characters? And just punch them? Air Javelin, oh, I know this. That killed that killed Eric a couple times when the robots were doing the uh, thing. Oh well. Particle human soldiers of the Pure Empire have prepared the trap for your party. They poisoned the area with some toxin that decreases the health of your champions. Defend your non-human companions. Pfft, why? First three seasons are considered a masterpiece, and the fourth season is controversial because of the format, but you love that format, I see. They're considered a masterpiece. Yes. Damn. Oh no, who, who got- No! Rakim! Oh, that's okay. Money Marte. Oh, he's right here. Alright, so put these guys here, and put the water on them. How may I help you? And you will just- oh. Ugh. Ta da! She's out. Of course. Come back to the corner. Sire. Head out. Uma de la. Yeah, boink. Moving into position. Yes. Money not down. Yes, moving. Oh no, they encased the dude with Money. things. Whatever will we do? Easy. My blade is yours to command. Easy game, Bob. You should try this. 
How do I mean? So fun. Just watch the enemy die. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We're gonna bleed this guy out. to the fray and speed it up a little bit stop that Heru Amin unleash hell consider it done we I am a lord Mani Marte Kill that man! <laughs> oh god. They're overwhelming us on the front. Time to just bolster our numbers. There you go. Done. I survived with 40 health. Very nice. Look at that, the two tanks are the highest damage. I mean, he's not really a tank anymore. He's both. Both a damage dealer and a tank. Rakim is the ultimate. Murder machine. Oh no! They sent a, a, a fucking messenger. Cheat. With the bulk of their numbers defeated, a small group of champions' opponents break away and retreat. No more than a half dozen soldiers. Whisper rushes to give chase, but Kale calls her back. Ah, they are getting away. They are going to summon more enemies we can kill for money. Yay! We must pers pursue at once. Well. Ooh. Water pouring ASMR, yes. Yum yum, water. Hasn't there been enough killing? No. Kayla, you're supposed to be a human. We live to kill. Let them go. Her Highness is right. They were able to get, set this ambush because they knew we were coming. We let them get away. We could be facing more confrontations like this. All the way to the bottom of the tower. We are already on the bottom. We are below the bottom. There's a new bottom. We've, we've reached the bottom on the previous floor and now we're below it. <laughs> There's no end to this fucking tower. They are human beings, however misguided. Let's not hunt them down for the slaughter. Such violence is uncivilized. Looks like we've stepped into another sort of civil war between these strange orcs and these humans. If they both occupy the last levels of the tower, perhaps it is best to try to communicate and express that we have nothing to do with their conflict. We already made peace with the fucking orcs. Shut the fuck up, elf. Jesus. I don't think they're gonna give us a chance to do much explaining. And besides, I don't know how I did his voice anymore, god damn it. If they use dishonorable tactics like an ambush, I say they get what's coming to them. The party is not yet arguing, you sense the heightened feelings of stress and anger from each and every champion. If someone doesn't take control of the situation, I'm not gonna take control of the situation. No, my armor! No, Rakam. Wait, both Kane and Whisper hated this. Wait, did Kane want to chase? Oh yeah, because I know these wanted to chase, and these didn't. Hmm. She likes it twice as much because the game rolled their choice, and I didn't influence them. Wow, all that movement speed. I like how the rest of them just don't care. Eric doesn't care, Maeve doesn't care. WD-40 doesn't care. <laughs> Never forget. Futuristic orcs and fanatical humans bent on their destruction. As, a fanatic, and as, as, as fantastic as it seems, they are nothing more than obstacles standing in the way of your true goal. Reserve your focus for more pressing matters or reaching the tower's bottom. Ooh. Whether your champions pursue these zealots or let them escape, leave it to their fine judgment. After a short discussion, they waste no more time with them. You just talk some vertical humans, you deserve what the fuck? We just read that. We just read this! Oh. For a second there I thought it would turn into a goddamn infinite loop. Goddamned loop of infinity. So we have a new group of enemies. Is there going to be another challenge type? Wanna siphon two? Wow. Wow. 
Meow. So they ran this way. So we're gonna go this way. Do inchment, inchmentment, inchmentment, inchmentment. Small library. Black above this small library reads first library. Though many books are of interest, none seems pressing to your champion's quest. Why reads one passage as your champions depart? The Albatross II is the highest flying manned rocket yet constructed, breaking the stratosphere at a hundred thousand feet, carrying a crew, a crew of four. Wow. That's a scroll. Two armor penetration. Two! First known human armor piece is came from the fabled Anvil of Garstang. However, humans learned the humility when they first encountered the dwarven dwarves and elves with their mastery of smithing and of enchantment, respectively. Even the finest steel armor is fragile as parchment to the enchanted arrow made of dark gold. Armor penetration. Ooh. Yay. Now the numbers are shit again. Oh wait, we have a two hand a one handed hammer. Hmm. Physical with some void. Okay. Stun chance less. Oh, it's another chaotic one. Ew. Less armor penetration, but we don't really care. It's blue, so it can't have the shatter armor on it. So why why even why even bother with it? Why even bother? What even bother? Is this a button? Oh. Mm -hmm. Gold, gold, gold. Ooh. Chest. Ooh, one-handed crossbow. And it's a meld crossbow. Empiric Primal Spitter of Ruin. Oh, of Ruin, that's nice, that's crit chance. Skill power. Oh, it's the uh, elemental version. I don't like that. It doesn't have... Oh, it does have 15% magic penetration. Eh, I don't want to spec her into magic... Uh, Magic stuff. What about her? 0.37 speed. More skill power and 1% less crit chance than this guy. We can forge that. And more crit chance than this guy. So what if we... Spectral Mad Pistol. Alright, let's compare these two. So less DPS. Uh, less armor penetration, but it's earth, so it doesn't matter. It has some magic penetration. Da 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 da. Mana per hit is gone. Skill power increase and more crit chance. So armor penetration is only 46 from 71. But this thing deals a lot of physical, so it doesn't hurt it too much. This thing only needs magic penetration. It's 47%. Although does she... Ah, it's not good to mix these. I feel. I'll give it more magic penetration. Fifty-three percent. Mm. Nah. Nah. I don't care. I mean, we're not using her anyway, so it's whatever. Right, so we can go this way, and that way would be a dead end, it looks like. I don't know what it is, though. Let, let us check it out. Ah, oh, it's a travel disc. Great. We got a travel disc that might take us here. Oh, it's an electronic panel. Let's check where these scout people ran to. Ah, oh, a plate of the last stand. Ooh, it's a melt plate. One more armor. A lot more resistances, void resistance as well. Health, a lot of minus health regen, but he's 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 got enough. God damn movement speed! Why is that a thing in this game? <laughs> and also no ten percent health increase, and also no aura. It cannot have an enchant either. Can have a forge, which is definitely going to be movement speed, but it doesn't have movement speed, so it's armor. 193 armor. 
40% void resistance, and these things are like 33, 22, 43, and 33 over the top. That is disgusting. Average resistance is best number in the world. Hmm, an extra 5 armor. Wow. For that movement speed. Remember when he was like 10.3? Feels like it was yesterday. <laughs> also, I just noticed, is this like a screaming head? Like, there, the eyes, there's the nose, and there's the mouth, and it has these sharp, jagged teeth. It's like a, a ghoul or something. It screams, ah! What are you doing with the movement speed again? Uh, fuck it. He likes armor. He's an armor boy. So let's see this thing. Oh, that has a 6% increase. Wait, that has a 6% increase. Why is he not using that? Look, that would be one more armor. And more movement speed. What the hell? Why wouldn't he use this thing? It has shit for resistances, but... Oh, because of magic penetration. Uh... 120% penetration. What the hell? I guess we'll keep this now. Oh well, he's got tier 5s, it's fine. Still has some health regen to, pay the, the, you know, to get these. I could make him tier 4 boot or legs. What can I do with tier 4 legs? There are legs, greaves. How far we've come? These look like medium armor at this point. So we could have normal, which is just whatever, 15 armor. Or penetration ones, or 17 armor. I mean, watch this be minus 51 again. <gasps> it wasn't. Ooh, what is this then? Less armor, more resistances. Ooh, a lot of water. More health, health regen, 4 life instead of 3 speed. Less armor though. How much armor can I forge on it? Oh. It's perfect. The same armor, more resistances. Of health regen. Or life. What will speed do to him? Not much. He doesn't care about speed. His DPS goes down. How come? Oh, speed. Of course, attack speed. But that doesn't matter because thorns deal damage every 4 seconds. So that's fine. And life is good for him. That's nice. And these are these are the penetration pans. So these can go away. Da di da 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 da. Thorns. Thorns. Nice. <laughs> and since his health increased. His health regen increased a lot more than just 0.5 because we have the uh, we have the life force spirit, which is pretty strong. Where are we? Oh, we're here. There was nothing here. It's just a, a room with the plate of lost resistance or whatever. What is it called? Lost stand. And these these runaways just disappeared. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we're going through the travel travel disc. We have 2,000 monies, so I could start leveling people up. Who should we level up? Whisper or Boron? Hmm. Whisper. I want to see what that uh, blizzard thing does. Nice. Even though I said yesterday that I wouldn't check it out because it's called blizzard. And that has negative connotations. In the game industry. Uh, still. Summons a powerful blizzard. Large ice chunks fall from the sky and freezing wind slows enemies. 8 meter radius. Damage per chunk. 20 chunks. <gasps> it's it's this! It's Firestorm! But ice! And it actually has uh, some CC. Ooh. I kind of want to try it out. But I'm not going to try it out until I get the... Uh, 
the extra shit. So we need we need more money. Money. Can't have more money. There's a lot more chests around. Uh, yeah, we have like eight more chests. So money is definitely going to come in. And battles, we have four more battles. So yeah, more more money. Money, money, money. Money, money. Level five boots. Or tier five. Resistances we don't care about. Less health, less mana. A lot more movement speed, wow. Attack speed is lowered. Mana is increased. But increased, but it's less. Get out of here. Because the flat was less. 100, sure. Mines! The vista of the mine below reveals a complex that impresses even Rakem. The crimson crystal within view must be a few hundred feet tall. That one? Uh, maybe. Probably not. What about the gold plated crystals? So how are the mines below? Oh, that, look at that. We're gonna be there as well. Pumping system. Where are we? Ooh, so there's stuff here too. This place is huge. A big level for the last level. What the hell? Oh, Boron, no! It's your people's memory crystal. Wow. Hello? As Boron moves to leave the chamber filled with dispatched humans, one of the corpses catches his eye. The giant's body goes limp, and his face draws long as he hovers over the broken body. With utmost care, the giant nudges the fallen soldier's body. Shaking loose a 30 pound, bread sized smooth stone strapped to the soldier's back. Ugh. Huh. How can this be? A memory stone among humans from another world. Maybe it's not another world, Boron. Maybe it's. the far future. Or an alternate universe. But the same planet. The giant falls to his knees with a resounding thud. The sound recalls all your champions to the chamber. Weapons drawn, they rush to the Frostling's side. Wait, they didn't notice that he stayed behind? Seeing no danger present, they quietly seethe their weapons. What is it, bags? An impossibility. A memory stone. A Frostling stone cannot originate from another world. It is impossible. Perhaps they found in it, find it in the tower. The only feasible explanation, yet one that means the stone must be the misplaced memory your people send you here to find. Boron nods quietly. After a long moment, he lowers his massive hands, cradling the memory stone as if it were made of ancient, dried eggshell. The moment the giant's bare skin touches the stone, his eyes illuminate with blue energy as scores of memories flood his mind. Much of the memories are violent in nature, raw, savage. Unwavering. It's fucking raw! Time loses meaning to the Frostling as he experiences the memories one after another, yet immediately the man of the north knows something is wrong. As a song containing misplaced unknown memories, it is from another world. The very reason his people sent him to the tower is hardly unfamiliar. Boron has experienced each and every one of the memories firsthand. They are, after all, his own personal memories. Everything that has transpired in the tower. Oh my god, this happened before. Boron gasps for breath that eludes him. He drops the stone, crushing the human corpse below it. Stumbles back with a roar of pain. Damn, nasty. No! Every champion present recoils at the unrestrained rage. Oh no, he's raging. Brent Roger! Boron! Remaining his, regaining his composure, Connie steps toward the Frostling to land aid. Boron waves him off. I am okay. Can you tell us? Misplaced memories of the tower, they are my own. Memories of violence and murder. Perhaps it is a mistake? Or some sort of Organthe trick? It is of no mistake or trick. I have lived my life in the pursuit of peace. But his abilities are of rage. Expanding every effort to refrain from violent thoughts and tendencies 
These memories here, these are the memories I will leave my people. They will ripple through Frostling society like a heavy stone thrown into a small pond. The reflection that is the Frostling way will be no more. Friend Frage, I can say this any other way, but you truly are the most disciplined man I have ever met. Your people should be proud of him, to have your memories among them. Yeah, especially since we only used him like twice in battle, so... I do not even begin to understand the workings of Frostling memories, past or present. But I know Arthara's very fate hangs in the balance, and if there is anything our world needs now more than ever, it is true and noble warriors, perhaps Baron Boron, it is a time for a new Frostling way, and your memories are the key that opened the door. Kani's words cut deep into the Frostling, echoing in his mind in both the present and as a memory from the stone he just bonded with. As the words linger, more memories arrive, ancient frosting memories beyond the time of the Archon Stone. Memories of the great violent tribes and brutal frosting wars, but along with these visions of violence come memories of peace and cooperation. Choices of to unite in brotherhood and lead the frosting race into new dawn. Oron does not understand it all, but he hears an inescapable truth in Connie's words. The giant rises to his feet, his strength returned. His attention once again focused and clear. I see the Organte coming. They think the remains of this world will fall easily. Perhaps you are right, King's Champion. Perhaps it is time we Frostlings were no longer ashamed of our past, no longer cast violence aside, but focus it against those adversaries who deserve it. Those who would harm us and our friends. Boron unlocks Super Rage, a special skill. Or not? Nope, he doesn't unlock shit. It's just, you know, whatever. Can we touch it? I wanna touch it! <laughs> rocks! Passage ahead is blocked by fallen rocks. It is not possible to go through here. What passage? Oh, there's a staircase. I see. Spooky. Oh, they got absolutely shrecked by this stone. Creation of the Avatar. For the piece of paper lies nearly under, neatly under the hands of a large clock. I waste so tapgramming it and reading it over before sharing with your party. It reads, I must apologize to Nani at the earliest opportunity for my lack of faith in his vision and ability. I have just come from, from, from his team's development chamber where they have created the most impressive construct. They have integrated the very tower itself, in a sense using Proteus' own power against him. The construct is referred to as the Tower Avatar. It's marvelous engineering and magic, but I cannot see its future success or failures. I will extend every bit of faith and optimism to Nani and say it is only a matter of time before Proteus will have no choice but to acknowledge us firsthand. Whoa, money! 99! That's good. Our room? Only one way to go. Ah, it's a blue fountain. That looks good. Drink it. Mana. 440 mana. Where the hell? What the hell? He's got so much mana now. He doesn't need that. You know who needs it, though? She needs it. Uh, he doesn't really run out because his cooldowns are still high enough. He doesn't really run out because he regenerates fast. She regenerates fast as well. Hmm. How the fuck is she five? Friendly. I need to change their mind about half the time because they believe in you. Significant increase the champion's morale in battle. Wow. It's the first time. But he's on zero now. No. Kane, you're losing your own armor. What are you doing? Now the tables have turned. It used to be on plus four or plus five, I think. Probably just plus four. Now he's back to zero. And this asshole is just minus three. Fuck. So this is very cheap. And this has decent cooldown. Guess he could keep it. He has low regen. Ah, he'll keep the mana. 
He's got a lot of mana now. I remember the, the time when he had like 120 or some shit. Some abysmal amount. Chance below the platform floor with green sludge. Slight luminescence throws across the muck as it gurgles along. Your champion's nose burned the longer they linger here. Oh, there we go. Uh, is that a human? Ooh, a city tube. Last tube, it captured the electricity. It shines with pleasant blue light and does not emit any heat. Ew, what the hell? There's a chest and an enchant scroll. Well, buddy, you you have something I might need. Da, 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 da. Ooh, crystal behemoth. Hawking giant made of stone and crystals. Its powerful punch can pulverize unarmored opponents to dust. Best to stay outside of the reach of its giant arm. I mean, we've seen worse. We've seen a lot worse. 44,000 health. Oh no, he likes fire. Thankfully, Rakim has 120% penetration, so this is only 20% fire resistance. <laughs> and water is only 70%, so we're fine. It has decent armor, but Maeve can go through it. Summon Guardian Tower. Powerful fire tower. Fire damage and can reduce armor of the target. Last until destroyed. Element of weakness. 50%. It's an aura. Damn. Stun wave. 6 meter a stun. But for how long? Why doesn't it tell us? And can pull people. And it can cleave. For 30%. Eh, he's not gonna be that big of a problem. Blue Golem. As if constructs created to crush and pulverize everything in the path. It overses iron like fists. Like we've faced these before. They don't like water. Nice shard. How come they don't like water, but they have water skills? What the hell are these guys? Crystal golem of immense proportions. Whether it was designed like this, or its crystalline structure grew over time, your champions do not know. How could a stone grow? My blade is yours to command. Sure, crystals can grow, but eh. Money. Also, I didn't read the uh, that toxin that supposedly decreased my champion's health. I didn't read what it was during the battle. I forgot. Ah, oh well. Wait, why are we back in the fucking graveyard? What the hell? It's weird. Yes. Oh, he's coming. Bigger boy is coming. Affirmative. Ah! Unleash hell. Right. Oh, he's stunned. At your service. I never miss. Point, point. On five ontology series, that might be what you want. Damn. Money, Marte. That's something. Yes, moving. A good job. Yes. How may I help? Look at me destroy this fool. Miss. Yes, sir. Shoot them. Oh, he's dead. Wow, by the time the thing came of cooldown. So we killed it in 30 seconds. <laughs> Ooh, crystal shard. That looks. Ah, the more I look at it, the the dumber it looks. But you know, first, first, at first glance, it looked cool. But ah, look at it. It's it's ugly now. <laughs> it is ugly. So who did a lot of damage? Ah, uh, Eric. Elemental shatter probably, and then just fucking went to town on this guy. Oh, it was the skill damage. Man, that ice rain is just beautiful. It was a short fight, so you know. Maninata. I never miss. Huh. Ah. Yes. Ah! What's Shoot. happening? Look at him. 99% damage mitigated. Damage received three. Damn. Self-healing 3. <laughs> he even healed back that 3 with his regen. <laughs> He's unkillable with physical, that's for sure. <laughs> nice. Wait, no, it's actually even 6 series? Oh boy, so now you have to watch at least 2 of them at the same time. 
by listening to a podcast and playing at least three video games on your six monitors. Are you up for that task? Mm, 10 penetration. Ooh, I like that. More health, more regen, more speed, more attack speed. Skill power is lower, but I don't care. More health. Minus 3 speed, but that's fine. Ooh, there's our new, new stuff, and it even has void resistance. Huh. This is pretty good. Look at that. 61% magic penetration. 114 armor penetration. No skill power bonus. One less percent skill cooldown because of the speed. That's it? The minus 3 speed? Oh, because it has 6% attack speed. So the attack speed doesn't change. Damn, that thing is good. And I can forge something on it. And it's blue. So I can upgrade it to purple if I find the forge, which would be cool, because I could give it... Wait, what's her uh, region now? Up on 9 to 9.4. Now she could get the extra 50 mana that Kane got, but I'm not loading back, that's for sure. Plus this was a fight stuff, maybe a chest stuff, so this is not guaranteed to come back. Oh well. Armor, Raganarazione. Nothing cool. Oh. Not even mana regeneration. Just health. Guess I could give her void resistance, but... Why? Why would I do that? Oh yeah, Whisper has got some points. Then again, I don't care. <laughs> Alright. Uh, reinforcing adamantine bullshit. Why does she have that? Better resistances. Movement speed and skill power. Oh, skill power would be nice. And the free speed as well. Elemental aura, ethereal absorption. Ten. <laughs> oh, I could have checked Boron's thing, but eh, he'll keep the frost twist. We'll watch three at the same time. That's the spirit. It better be at at least two times speed, though. And all three has to be in three different languages. With English subtitles. Yes. You gotta push yourself, Bob. That's your whole thing. Ooh, this looks an up like an upgrade. Ooh, less armor penetration, but it has more damage. Magic penetration as well, although... Connie doesn't care about that. Less health regen. Eh. Or skill power only to Nah, but it's it's not purple again, so it shouldn't be a thing. It's less penetration than this 60 penetration. Oh. We have a two-hander, the crystal shard. Oh my god, look at the damage. Oh look at that attack speed. Why? Every like eight, eight and a half seconds he he punches once. It's slower than the goddamn siege siege hammer or whatever it was. I need a ten percent cleave, minus four movements. Get the fuck out of here! Hey, does it have an enchant? Oh, whirlwind! Get out of here! Stupid shit. Thorns is better. Okay. Oh well. And we got money from that fight as well. Obsidian Shield 3, yes! Yes! Right away. Uh, these shields. Shield, shield, shield. Obsidian. Wait, it's Obsidian Crust, not Obsidian Shield. What the hell? Extra 4 armor, nice. And a 97! Oh! <laughs> no one shall penetrate him. And don't take that out of context. Or, or do, I don't care. We have a tier 4 helmet, which is better defensively, better movement speed, no penetration at all. Although that's the uh, spectral side. It has skill power increase, attack speed increase, negative health, and no critical chance. So it's not gonna get that. Because this helmet is... I already, dis I already explained why this thing is staying on. It has both of the enchants, basically. 
What about her? Her helmet is the Constructs Helmet of the Martyr, which is abysmal. It does have the crit chance, but I could put crit chance on that, although it would be less than 23%. Because this one is a forged crit chance, apparently. Absolutely. So wait, I put the enchant on it, and then I forged it? Because it only has the 15% because of the enchant, right? Yeah. Interesting. So you can enhance enchants with item forge, apparently. So if I took off the enchant... Made it true sight... Wait, let's save before I do that. Because it might break the uh, item. I don't know. Oh wait, that's the that's the thingy. Yeah. Do the penetration. We've got 85 armor pan, 39 magic pan. Okay. Ha! Huh. Yeah. That's that's weird. But I, but I can't put penetration f uh, forging on it. But I was able to put critical chance on it. So in theory, I could put critical chance on this as well. If I enchant it with critical, right? So if I enchant it, true sight, and then unequip and equip. That is weird. Knight has critical chance forging. Although it's still worse than this. Because this is 102%, you know, with the uh, an ancient back. Yeah. This is only 96, and she doesn't have crit increasing things. And she's fully forged. Master Engineer cannot have critical chance. Pants cannot. Uh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. You can enhance certain certain enchants with the item forge. That is crazy. So I guess now I should enchant first and forge after on purple items and even on blues. Blues that I uh, want to forge. And I guess I want to forge this because this is pretty good. Although I wanted to forge boots, right? Although, why would I want to forge that? This would be better to forge. Because then I could put an enchant on it. Mm. And by forge I mean forge forge and not item forge, but the big one. That's weird. Let's continue. Where are we? Alright, so we did the travel disc. That's where it came from. Alright, going down. Put them in your watch list? Hell yeah. But that's not enough, you have to start watching them right now! <laughs> if I'm curious, sure you're not. <laughs> All of them in a row. Are the fourth series in your watch list, preceded by Frasier? You're still watching Frasier? Thought you would be dumb by now. Greg Garcia shows, they made one of your favorite shows. Arrested Development? Hmm? Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Wait, Always Sunny is one of these anthologies? I didn't know Always Sunny was uh, an anthology. Unless these are the, the things you want to watch through before the anthologies. I thought you already had completed uh, Always Sunny. I kind of figured you would have seen it. It's kind of popular. I haven't seen it though. I should watch it. People... I, I, I haven't heard anyone say bad things about it, so, you know. Hernan Cortez! 
polite to the point of almost being charming. If not, if not for, if not for a pistol pointed at your head, what? Thirty-two thousand health. Pfft, he's gonna die so fast. He doesn't like earth and air, but I mean we don't care. Cleansing pillar. Flame burns at the location for sixty seconds. Targets within range are burning for forty damage each second. What's the range? Cannon. Oh, <laughs> I read cannot shoot. <laughs> cannon shot. Lines up for a large cannon shot that deals 800 physical damage. Oh, <clears throat> that's... Now that can kill... Uh, well, it can kill two of my characters in one shot. So, you know, need to pay attention to that. Lightning Granado. We know that. Nothing new. One of the pure empire leaders awaits eagerly for your champions. He is accompanied by his faithful company of 12 seekers that approach in a short succession. More enemies might join later, as a devastating cannon shot, be ready for it. Although, how do we know that he's polite to the point of almost being charming? We're just gonna kill him. Like, we, 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 don't, we won't care. Alright, Hernan Cortez! They are the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Where are you, Hernan? Oh, oh, he's coming from that side. <laughs> no, please, Hernan Cortez! May the light guide your path. Yes. All right. We. Yes, moving. Uh, there's that pussy. On my way. On my way. I'm in. Going. Kill him. Right between the eyes. Kill him. Sire. Yes. Shut up. Shoot them. He's dead. Done. Just realized you didn't finish the episode of Frasier you were watching before the stream. 7 Eleven season finale. You should do that. Yeah, you should do that. Like, prioritizing my stream. It's not, it's not supposed to happen, Bob. You should watch your... Ah, uh, oh, no, I can't center the, the circle. No, it's disappearing. I wanted to center it in the this, this circle. My OCD! I will be forever unfinished, un incomplete. Oh, look, it's like an eating area, like a park. Oh, is that a car? Is it like a, a wreck of a car? Or is it some kind of trash can? Uh, who knows? Look at that. Burning books. Oh, this is like... It's like Brooklyn. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> fucking Brooklyn. <laughs> From a fucking... Gangster movie. Look at that. Ah, uh, at night, the, the roads are... Just shrouded in darkness and... Batman stalks the streets for victims, and there's a fucking fire hydrant! <laughs> what the hell? A random fire hydrant just there. <laughs> and <laughs> then you can go down into the sewers. What is this place? It's cool though. It's a new arena that we probably only see once. Oh. You apologize so much, it's not enough. You have to watch right now. You have to leave me to my min maxing and watch Frasier. Pure Empire Forever. <laughs> Pure Empire Forever. That was his fucking fan ring. Hernan Cortez was such a fan of the Pure Empire. He was a fanboy. 10% mana and health increase. Regeneration. Mana points and 4 armor. Wow, it's so bad. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cortez, but your fan ring has been broken. Ooh, gold. Look at that, that's so pretty. Some coolant or something, probably. Gold, 90, we'll take it. Oh, we got enough money for Visper. We can see what she does. Ooh, Whisper. No! Too 
thousand. Should I level her even higher? Uh, skill three, Blizzard. So she's got the meteor, which is uh, remains on the ground, burning all enemies in range. Meteor strikes the ground. Deals less damage, but it stays there and burns, or imbued with void energy. Oh, that's pretty cool. I kind of want to see what it looks like. So, let's get rid of Thunder Injection, because it's fucking... It's not bad, I mean, it's more critical chance. This is her crit stuff, or... Elemental Weakness for 12 seconds? That's cool. 25% crit, so it's probably 30% with that. Maybe even 35, because usually the lost levels are, like, double. Yeah. I mean, Whisper is basically the elemental version of my Ave, but... I like the Bear Traps more than the uh, King Dome. King Dome! <laughs> so, let's take this out. This out. Summon a blizzard that does basically the same thing as the firestorm. So the primary blizzard with extended area. Sub-zero wind deals damage. Sub-zero? Oh my god, now we have fucking uh, Mortal Kombat in this. Add that to the list. <laughs> ah, also primal blizzard. So it's basically the primal zerg. That want essence. So add fucking Starcraft to Heart of the Swarm. Oh wait, no, Heart of the Swarm is StarCraft 1's DLC. What is the Heart StarCraft 2's Zerg thing called? I, I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe it is Heart of the Storm. Swarm. It doesn't matter, it's fucking essence, dude. 10 meters, same damage, but it gets water damage per second. For how long? I guess as long as the uh, the chunks are falling. 50 chunks with 132 water damage each chunk. Oh no, wait, that's damage per chunk. 20 chunks, so oh, never mind. Or more chunks. Increase number of chunks. So that's an extra 1320 water damage. But of course, they don't hit the same place. And they explode. But the explosion radius doesn't increase. So you can in increase the area radius to spread this or just make more chunks. I feel like the more chunks is better because the area is already big. Too big. That's why I like the Firestorm's uh, narrowing thing. Like sure, you can have a fuck ton of chunks or drops, but in 10, 10 meter radius with 2 meter radius splash, shit. But 6 meter radius with 3 meter radius splash, a lot better. And more damage. Of course, a lot less chunks. Alright. Let's check it with the uh, less chunks, but, but things. Kingdom. Extended area or Shatter's magical defenses. Oh, that's cool. But... Okay, so her character, definitely mastery, right? Mastery and might. Or magic penetration. Yeah, it's might. So let's let's check her uh, check her powers on Mark II dummy. Send rock him as well. Yes. Yes. Oh. Wait, she's got white clothing now. That's her upgrade from from like gray clothing. She's she's white. So she she did a Gondorf on us. So add Lord of the Rings Certainly. to the. Uh, Thing as well. Sure. Sure. Kink Dome, go! Brrr. Very well. Elemental things, go. Alright, let's see the meteor. 
Ooh, it's Diablo 2. Pew. Eh. Alright, decent damage. Holy shit! <laughs> Boink. Ooh. You're missing. Oh, one hit. Oh, it persists even after the uh, chunks. How long does it persist? A fair amount of uh, uh, time. Do it again. Oh, one hit, two hit, three. Three hits. All right, kill it. Fine. <laughs> okay. Brrr. Now... We swap the meteor out for the burning sensation. King Dome. Oh yeah, that's the element of resistance shuttering. Or we can make it bigger. I mean, the, this is better. What else do I want to check? Uh, Magic Tower, maybe? See how good it is? Nah, fuck that thing. And swap the blizzard. So this uh, area thing is pretty cool. Like, if you can max this out and put her skill power to, like, 300% and her skill cooldown to, like, 70%, you know, make, make her into an Eric, you might be able to do Blizzard as soon as the, uh, the area disappears. You might immediately put it down again. However, let's see the, the more chunks, because the 10 meter radius, like, the fucking things were not hitting, so it's definitely not good against a single target, obviously. Let's see the uh, 8 meter radius. Yes. On the move. Shalala, shalala. Ah, so now we have the larger meteor. So instead of surgical strike, it's now just a. Uh, that it's a burning sure. sensation. On the move. She's got range. King Dome, go! Pew. So elemental resistance minus fifteen percent. This this is pretty good, but this is what we want. Just... Go chunks. Oh, one hit. Two hit. Three, four, bam! <laughs> oh yeah, and now instead of damaging area, it has a slow area. So smaller radius, and instead of the little bit of extra damage, it slows. Which could be also better than that slow amount of damage, because enemies just move out of it. Speed the shit up. Oh, a lot better. Arrow cam. Yes, moving. Heading out. Why did you? Death. What are you doing, pussy? Get out of here! Stupid fuck. I'm a lord. Let him do the thing. See that shit? Yeah, it's so much better. <laughs> I guess we need to level her up to maximum. Let's give her more levels. Okay. I hear my cat crying outside, so I'll have to look at that soon. More damage. This is extremely expensive. 140 mana. Why? This thing... Uh, yeah, at maximum, this only costs 120. So this is this will cost, like, what? 160? What's the point? A burning sensation or void. The void is definitely better. Kingdom is pretty good. For resistance reduction. Crit chance infusion for elemental barrage. Immobilizes enemies for three seconds. Ooh. So it has root, but it not a lot of root and only three balls. Although the void is not bad. And it with the added uh, Penetration, that's even stronger. 
it's it's the case of only have three or uh, four slots so what what do you get rid of because blizzard could become pretty good meteor can become pretty strong to finish things off Amantra barrage for the cc and thunder injection obviously for for the crits so her basic attacks are you know still viable and kingdom is the uh, nice resistance reduction that we don't really care about to be honest because, I mean, 100 and something penetration. 100 and something penetration. He doesn't care about magic penetration, but even she does have a lot. And he doesn't have any but you know, it's thornsing. So it's probably the kink dome that we would get rid of. Because penetration is easy to build on, build for. So it would be critical chance, random bullshit, and then just, you know massacre things mind control is stupid teleport is not needed and the magic tower is kind of disappointing like the uh like those uh crossbows because you can make it into a taunting tower that deals no damage but we have like two guys that can tank or you can make it into some kind of like a splash thing shoots exploding projectiles me every four seconds it deals a little bit of damage that splashes like what's what's it do maxed out 200 damage in four meter radius twenty meter area I mean that's decent I guess can be decent but the summons are still better so yeah. Critical chance injection, go. It's got one point left. I mean I guess I can take out the kink dome. Increase meteor. Yeah, cause this is a decent amount of damage. Sixty-three fire for twenty seconds. Things don't really stay in that. I guess this might be better against the boss that just stays in it and doesn't like fire. But oh. It's got three more things. Wait! Alright. And my cat also shut up, so I think he gave up on the uh On the entrance, he gave up. He, he left. I cat also went to watch Fraser. Finished, so you came here. Damn. I was just saying how my cat also went to watch Fraser. Because I don't hear him anymore. He's not meowing at the door, so he's gone. He's fucking gone. I should check on him, but. I don't want to. The Avatar's failure. A dried out, upturned ink well and rotted quill lie next to her old parchment. It seems to be a personal letter, only partially complete. I'm disheartened to hear the Avatar was unable to breach Proteus's barrier, but an ingenious trick to erect an energy field that adapts to any force used against it. Since it is unlikely a mechanical construct will adapt faster than the barrier itself, I'm intrigued at your suggestion to impute imbued the Avatar with self-awareness. Oh shit. Ella stops before a painting of Magi experimenting in the laboratory, hanging on the wall. She gazes at it, lost in thought. Is that your brother, Proteus? No, but when I look at the Magi, I see him clearly in my mind. Must have been a great brother and good friend. He was a great man, a powerful man, yet just as gentle. He thought only of others. It's gonna turn out that fucking... Uh, what's his face? Ah! Uh. Sleef. Sleef is going to be her brother. Sleef! <laughs> Although, we've seen his name and she didn't get triggered, so, you know. Wait, is her head glowing now? Need to look at Whisper's new, uh, model. I never think the Magi turned on him, but perhaps... Turning away from the painting. Oh, wait, why is this yellow? These 
bracket ones used to be like dark gray or something. My brother had a mastery of magic and knowledge far beyond any the other magi. Was shied away from him, either in fear or jealousy. Even his friends regarded him from a distance. It always disturbed my brother. Perhaps that's why we were so close. I know without question they are responsible for his hate. His fate. Gala turns and hugs my ape. The hardness of the ancient's face disappears, replaced by a softness and sparkle in her eye. Thank you. Without you and your friends, I think this whole experience would be unbearable. Nah, without us, you would still be sleeping in your pod. So it's fine. Alright. Whisper, what the fuck happened to you? Damn, she glows now. She's got some... She looks like the, uh, the pyromancer chick from... Dark Tide. Oh, the uh, Conflagratore woman. The Pyro Witch. Just, you know, purple instead of red flames. And she's got some. She turning into Wisp from Warframe? Oh no, she still has feet, I think. Does she have feet? Doesn't have feet. She's Wisp! <laughs> Interesting. We don't have money. I kind of want to level up Boron now to see his full attire. A listening device. The large metal poles lie attached to a strange technological contraption. Even recommend KLR baffled by what device it could be. When Boron pushes on the equipment, turning it on to one side, a well-preserved piece of paper is revealed. It reads, Nasarath, this new return listening device has been extraordinarily successful in picking up arrogante communications. Unfortunately, the communication still seems less incoherent. I'm starting to wonder if they know about listening and perhaps speaking a code. In any case, my hope is that you engineer it to counter the apparatus to allow two-way communication. Hopefully some direct communication will grant us the missing information necessary to decode all the messages we have recorded today. If not, then we'll make do with the satisfaction of delivering our own defined messages to name with us. Frequency 1313 3 has provided the greatest number of recordings. Ronald Rison's message quality seems intensified when the machine is activated in the following process. Frequency is set to desired setting. Power on. Power level full. All three enhanced surfaces flicked off. Power level reduced to half. I refer to your correspondence and insights beginning with these beams. Perhaps uh, there is a slight chance we are about disaster through this prophecy. Wow, what was that? After reading the letter and examining the machine, Rakim and Kayla believes they can activate it. Should your champions listen in to the Organte? On the Organte, no? I mean, what? English? Uh, then again, I'm not better at English, so I don't care. You hesitate for the moment only. This is the enemy of the Ancients. You must protect Artara against those creatures with incomprehensible capabilities. Finding out what you can about them is absolutely critical. So are we pushing it? Did we push it? Are we listening? Hello? Organte! Is this the device? Large blue bolt of energy scissors between the two vertical poles of iron. After Rakim and Kayla activate the machine, listing the high pitched hum oscillates for a few moments, then buzzes and crackles. Finally, a rhythmic deep thumping sounds out. Rakim begins to speak, but Maeve quickly darts a single finger in the air and hushes him quiet. As each of your champions listens intently, a strange drawn out sound growls through the machine, it repeats itself, becoming slightly more clear each time. Ooh, Arcante voices. Majar are the false prophets of Artara. Nardar goes to enslave the world. Proteus, the great deceiver. Arcante are truth. Arcante bring forth the light. It takes a few repetitions, but eventually each member of your party clearly hears the ominous message. Its champions stare at each other, stare at each other, try to make sense of the message. A popping sound explodes from the machine, followed by a puff of black smoke. The sound of breaking glass. Damn, it died. A few hundred years without any maintenance seems to have taken its toll. This resigns narrow as if she's perplexed by the event. What is it? Strange, if you're to believe well, that was indeed the voice of these Organte, it would seem they were speaking to us in their here and now. Not the Magi of ancient times. Fascinating. Perhaps the origin of this letter was correct in his or her trail of thought. If we could indeed speak with these creatures, we might be able to learn of their weakness, or at the very least, their specific plan of attack. A moot point, as the machine is clearly inoperable. What the hell was that? Something poofed. 
Wait, is there someone? Oh! It's the Jedi! He's back! He's kind of in the wall a little bit. Damn, he blends in. Then he holds up his hand, silencing and halting your champions with a single gesture. Head, our old man sits hunched over the desk. What? Desk. Oh my god, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh my god. Looking over a number of ancient schematics. Suddenly aware of your presence, the man slowly sits up and turns to face your party. Ah, good to see you, friends. Your journey goes well. Is one thing you really like about British shows? The humor? <laughs> Not sure if you mentioned this before. I don't remember that. What's what's the one thing? The one thing that rules them all. Good enough, I guess. How did you get down here, and why are you down here? It mustn't be the humor, right? Please don't say that it's the humor. Because there's no humor in British shows. That's, that's the gist of it. Also, fucking Charles is becoming the king tomorrow. Charles will be the king! Or today? Tomorrow or today? I don't know. Either became the king today, or is becoming the king tomorrow. He's taking up the, the crown after, after that other one died. The queen. The tower has many unseen passages. For the years I've uncovered a few of them. As for my reason for visiting this level, not so long ago I uncovered a strange device that I could have sworn had voices speaking through it. A telephone. I can't explain why, but I believe listening and speaking to these voices could be the key to saving Artara. In my spare time, I've been working to restore the device. Is it the device we just broke? They are pretty funny, but the actual thing you like about them is that they are fucking short! Like usual shows are like two, four seasons long, with six episodes each 20 minutes long. Oh, so there's a little filler, and I can put a lot of thought into each episode. Do you know about the show that has the guy saying water? And it's so incomprehensible, you don't know what the fuck he's saying? Drink some water or something? Oh my god, I wanna... I wanna look it up. The water guy. This might lag the stream a little bit. Uh... An American show the British accent, no? Bottle of water. Bottle of water. Ah, uh, it's not it. Bow water. Is it this? I'm trying, Bob. I'm trying, but it's difficult because I don't remember. It's definitely not this. No, this is 2023. 2022. No, it's not this guy. There's an actual some kind of some kind of weird it's shit. Bottle of water. Fucking hate YouTube. Can I like find find old shit? What the fuck? Where's the filters? Wow! Oh my god, they're hiding the filters more and more. Upload date. And can we go from oldest to newest? Of course we can't. Can we though? This year, this month. Disgusting. Disgusting sight that only cares about the now, the now, the now, and the tomorrow. Anything over a week old is irrelevant and you should not ever watch it. And thus it is hidden more and more. I fucking despise this shit. 
And of course, the search things is full of shorts. They are like 19 hours and 8 hours long old. What the fuck? You know what? I give up. No. It's somewhere on YouTube, but I, I don't care to look through it because it's fucking old. It's like 2000 something. It's not. It's, it's like early 2000s, probably. It's definitely before 2010, I think. So, no. It was some kind of British show, I think, but I don't remember. I remember, and YouTube is shit, so. Yeah. I'm sorry, Bob, but if you care, you have to look it up yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you mean the device with the two metal poles in the other room, I don't think they'll do you much good anymore. Barbarian jumps up with a look of desperation and anger of his, on his face. You didn't turn it on, did you? I'm afraid... We didn't know. The librarian falls back into his chair, knocking the parchment seat carelessly to the floor. What? What? He's standing. All that work, all for nothing. Can it not be... Can it no be repaired? Pretty certain uh, there's a tea missing there. Whereas we can, uh, the device had a bad condenser and coil. If you turn the machine on, no doubt that was uh, that's what has failed. I've been searching the lower levels for replacements, but have yet to find either. Damn. And we'll find these two components and bring them to you. No, we won't. Fuck off. This is the final floor. Get out of here. There are no more lower levels. Please. The game should have ended like 30 hours ago. Yes, yes, it might work. No! I mean, I, I kind of am still enjoying it, but what? when does it end? <laughs> but I have to start from scratch, and recalibrating the machine takes quite some time. Oh, by the great spirits, all that work lost. The librarian dips a hand into his robe and starts jerking off with a blue crystal. There are components in the machine that degrade if, it's not, if it is not operational. The be no time for you to come back to the upper levels. Take one of these crystals, set it to flame when you found both components. When warm, it creates a pulse I can locate you with. Whisper takes one of the crystals, the librarian wishes you luck and begins collecting the schematics from the floor. And he's gone. Isn't it quite suspicious that he can just teleport around? But when we found him, he was like, oh great heavens, you... He found me, now I can run back to the surface, because I am just a humble dude, a, a guy looking for ancient texts and shit. But now he's like, poof, 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 here's a crystal, I can locate you with, poof, 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 teleport, poof, poof, poof. What the fuck? Turns out it's Proteus himself. Hmm. Oh no, a collapsed Basag, eh? No, how do we get the end? <laughs> the end. It looks like a... Uh, fucking rifle or something with a... Oh no, that laser thing is not... That lightning stuff is, is in the background. It's a shotgun. Or a rifle. It's a two-handed gun, so it's probably not going to be used. Blink. Ooh, it's a green wand. Oh, not even a wand, the staff. Stiff. La 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 la. 94, we'll take it. Metal door. Locked door. The sturdy door seems to be locked. If you have the right key, your champions cannot open it. If only we had WD 40, but he's gonna download stuff for like. Oh. For like the next couple hundred years. There's some void creatures. How's our void resistance doing? 40, 28, none. Uh, 8%. Well, Eric, don't get in the fight, I guess. Ooh, let's get the end first. Yum. Tier 5 shotgun. Oh, it's one handed. Ooh. Ooh, physical. Very slow. Uh, low penetration. Crit chance, critical damage. An extra 100% crit damage. Wait. Increased critical hit damage from 200% to 300% for this weapon. 
Oh, so it's an extra 100%. Okay. See, I see. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, da, da, da. Ba. So 1% less crit chance, but she has 2% to lose. More penetration than that gun. Less regeneration, but that's fine. Okay, this is better. The end is better than the hand cannon of devastation. How about the other gun? Spectral meld pistol. Uh huh, uh huh, same penetration. Okay, mm hmm. Hmm. More critical chance. More damage. It could honestly be either or. I mean, 788. 141. Hundred nineteen, hundred six, hundred six. This is the highest DPS. Eighty two thirty two, or seventy one thirty two. But this is better. Still over a hundred percent crit. Damn, and it gives a hundred percent extra crit chance. Damn, damn. So it's three x damage. Guaranteed. Nice. You can also forge it. Pen. E5 pen. Nice. Not like we care, but... Hey, at least we should find something that's actually going to be used. I mean, would be used. A function crystal golems. The champions find a sealed envelope with the symbol of the Magi Order stamped in wax. It seems to have gone unopened since its creation hundreds of years ago. And it does so now. It holds it up for everyone to follow along. Its notice is to demand better security protocols for the new crystal golems. I understand reactivating the old crystal golem production facility was necessary in case this new tower with our fails. Uh, at last ditch onslaught. A last ditch onslaught of crystal golems may be our only hope. Two of the constructs attacked Emot and uh, me while transferring mana nodes upstairs earlier this morning. Those are the corrupted no things. They are lucky, and I stress the word lucky to escape with our lives. If these latest updates to the constructs are to be continued, we must have better security protocols in place. These things are far too dangerous to take lightly. Yes, they may be extremely effective in our fight against the Organte, but if they kill all of us first, we've lost sight of our goal. Uh -huh. Different point of view. Ooh, gloves. What kind of gloves? Less health, more crit, no cooldown, more skill power. Mm, I mean, nice extra skill power, but the cooldown would be absolute poop. Uh. Ah. Could try to make something that has anxiety and frenzy at the same time, but that's such a rare role. And even then, it has 12% cooldown on it just by forging. And if I make a purple, it will only have one forge slot. Two at the most, if I'm very lucky, and it rolls the extremely rare two slot forge thing. But. It's only like, what, 6% or 8%? 15 from the thing, so I can't I can't really make this if I craft it on purple. I could make this if I craft it on green, and then forge it, and then forge it again, but... Uh, I think this will stay for the rest of the game. Unless I find something that's... That comes with the... Uh, with, with better, or very close rolls. Alright, let's see what these things do. They look nasty. They're like infected orcs. Hello? Do you want a hug? Oh no! Dark Sentinel. Humanoid constructs formed with energy from the dark recesses of the universe. They deal physical damage. They don't have any void resistance. They hate water. Almost. <laughs> uh, they stand no chance. Grasp of Darkness. Are of despair. Champions within four meters are immobilized. <laughs> okay. Abomination. Yeah. Yeah. 
Pure concentrated malice, given physical form. A monstrous opponent who delivers mighty void energy infused blows. Nice. Void blows. Doesn't like water. Good. Deep wound, are of corruption. Champions are bleeding for 18 void damage per second. <laughs> and Painbringer, a disjointed golem constructed from hate and disgust. Capable of hurling void energy as easily as others would fire a crossbow. It's the ranged guy. No penetration, but they don't need it because they're void. They don't like water. Okay. I guess water can cleanse the void away. Wow. Purify. Void ball. Void bolt that deals 120 damage in 3 meter area. Targets are immobilized. Shadow constructs. Remnant. Remnants of the rebellious magi twisted experiments with the Organte's power. Your champions prepare for this encounter with a grim determination. Easy. Yes. Yes. It's going to be easy. Oh look, it's this. This place, but with a tint of purple and also some void walls. Ooh, cool. Like amethysts and shit. All right. Let's see where they come from. Aha, they come from there and they come from there. So this asshole is just going to... And he sits there. Yes, sir. This guy is just going to hurl that over there. And then walk. I never miss. Put these guys there. They don't like water? Fuck yourself. How may I help you? a smaller area. Keep pumping them out. Yes. So you two focus on this gate. You will focus on that gate. Although you can help with this. Let's see. At your service. Oh. Unleash hell. You whip. Huh? Hey, I mean? Let's speed this up. These guys are easy. Yes, moving. Pew, pew. Are we done? They couldn't put down his thing. Oh, rank four hood. Whose hood is it? Oh, it's for magic. Okay. Okay. It's constructs of ruin, though. Ooh. Ooh. I could put the penetration stuff on it. I would lose 16% skill power and a lot of penetration for 16% crit chance. No, oh, no, it puts him below 100%. Uh, Penetration. Although I could put that back. Yeah. It's penetration. 114. Okay, so the same penetration. Is that crit chance worth it? Abysmal movement speed. Although he doesn't really need that. We lose skill power. 16%. I feel like that's worth it for the crit chance. Because that's... that's... how much... Yeah, that's an extra 100% damage. When he crits, so... you know. Ah, I'll take it. And she keeps the uh, mage, the mage stuff, except the the gloves. We broke it. Me. We'll never use her. I'll, uh, ideally, we don't need to use her, ever. What is this thing? Life force spirit. Okay, we can put it on anything. Oh, cooldown. Look at that, seventeen percent. Okay. Can I craft a cooldown amulet on tier four? So resistance, it doesn't do many things. Skill, power increase. 
Ooh, if I could craft a cooldown augmented one with, out of this, ooh, that would be cool. Because this one only has health regen, mana regen. Oh, it has attack speed. Oh, it's Frenzied of Anxiety. It's basically the same thing as uh, this, Frenzied of Anxiety. Damn, these are so good. Both of the speed rolls are on them. I think there is a higher version of Anxiety. It's the... Oh, I don't even know what it is anymore. Inferno. Ruin is the crit. Rapid is... I think Rapid is the higher of the... Then again, this one doesn't have any speed on it, so I don't know what Rapid does. Honestly. Maybe it's just basic attack speed, but it doesn't show up. I think she has something with speed. Friends it Oh yeah, Neurosis. I think that's higher. So maybe I could craft something. We got the resources. Might. Skill power. Cool. Oh. Varding of recovery. Cooldown minus 20%. Attack speed I don't care about much. He only needs to attack enemies once every 10 seconds to keep this up. So that's fine. This one is 0.20, so every 5 seconds. And with, yeah, every 3, three seconds if I put this on. Gains an extra 100 mana. Resistances. 3% extra cooldown, 18% extra skill power, which we lost when we uh, put on the hood. Yeah, this is good. What are these two? 18% skill power, no cooldown, no cooldown. Okay, so still can leave. 75%. Almost 300 again. The attack speed goes down, but he's got 500 mana. And we can enchant it with the spirit thing. Life Force Spirit Point. This was 20, 12 .5, 5.5, 5.5, 4.9, 4.5. Oh yeah, because it doesn't have the flat regeneration. But it's better. Yeah. 75. Ooh. I wonder, does Rakim need this? Hmm. No. Rakim would benefit from this as well, so might try to craft something like that for Rakim. Because he also needs skill power and, re and cooldown and penetration, because so he's basically uh, Eric, just fire. So let's let's try and craft some cool amulet for him. Just for funsies, you know. Holy shit, it happened immediately! <laughs> Yay, is this the same exact amulet? One in Relic Amulet of Grand Recovery, it's the same exact amulet. The game heard my plea. Ask and ye shall receive. It's just like Binding of Isaac. Holy shit, it did, yes! First craft, and it's the same exact amulet that I that I just said that Rockham would benefit from it. And there it is. It's beautiful, and it gives resistances, because Rockham is still kind of a tank as well. Damn. Disgusting. We lose 2% critical chance and 4 might. So we do lose some magic penetration. We lose 2% magic penetration. And 2% crit chance, but that's more than worth it. For an extra 20% skill cooldown? Hell yeah. Apparently the uh, skill power... Oh yeah, both of them have 18%. But that's fine. What's crafted on this thing? It has, oh, it had the critical chance crafted on it. That's why it had the extra 2%. So I could craft it on this, right? Yeah. 2% crit chance or more cooldown. Ooh, which one would be better? Hmm. Crit. Critical chance, obviously. And I can put the life force spirit back. And then the regeneration is 
9.618. Nice. Look at that. 45%. But it makes his firestorm almost on the 30 second cooldown. That is awesome. And his fire runes. Oh my god, I can spam his fire runes. And his fireball. Basically, kind of. Not really. It kind of needs more regeneration now. 12 would be nice. What could I increase? Wait. Oh, this should be increased. This could be increased, no? This for rings. Oh no. That siphon thing is not for rings. That's a unique enchant on it. Or ethereal absorption, yeah. It can only be in legs. But that's for these thorns. And Magi Bastion here. Although, honestly, he doesn't really need the thorns. His armor is not as awesome as Kane's armor. And Kane has the double thorns, which is... 75% is of his armor is just dealt. That's true damage. Rakem doesn't really benefit from thorns. It's mostly for aggroing anything that goes past him. Because in a 4 meter radius, he'll just attack even without attacking but he does have that four meter radius with the two-handed weapon so he can just actually attack things that go past so honestly he doesn't need thorns because most of the time i don't even send him in to, to the gates and stuff he just stands in the middle so he can reach as much as he he can with his casting so i'm going to replace his uh Feetsy things, and ethereal absorption. So he has 17.1 regenerate. Okay, that's. Oh, yes. <laughs> nice. He's turning more into a mage. What else? How, how, how more disgusting can I make him? Health points, mana points. Regeneration, movement speed, regeneration. But it's only 0.5%. He got 1.5 now. So even if I get rid of this, it's still one point. It's still 1% more. So it's still 12.6. Above 12 is good. So what kind of ring can I craft? Oh, Bob, we are going further beyond health. Oh, and this can give penetration, which is great. Health regen, we don't care about that. Mono regeneration, we also don't care about that now, because it's still 12 point something. I can make some disgusting thing. Okay, so 4 might give penetration, plus the penetration here. Okay, let's make another one. Life. Eh. Speed. Eh. Speed. Eh. Speed. Stop with the speed! What the fuck? <laughs> it's, it just doesn't stop. Alright. That gives me might or speed. Great. It's fucking stupid. And one life here. Speed, 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 speed. They're all the same. This one doesn't have the health thing. Okay. This gives mana, and this gives health regeneration. Interesting. There are these two that could be candidates. This give. Wait, what are we? I don't want the cursed ring. I want this to be uh, compared. Ring of mana. It would have more penetration, less mana points, four might, even more penetration. Twenty-three. Okay. And with this. He's got 15.0 and a cursed ring. 14.1 because it reduces it, but it has the penetration and this doesn't have the penetration. That's pretty dope. 132% penetration. From from what? 118. Okay, I like that. Uh this is the mana points. And this one has the regeneration. Both have the might. We don't care about the health regeneration. So, put this on. 
break this. Let's see if Eric wants the Ring of Mana. So what does he have? Magic Penetration 20%. Oh yeah, the Trickster's Ring. That's pretty good and he needs it. This one has the 1% Mana. Skill damage. And oh yeah, because he has the Flux Robes, of course. So this ring is actually pretty good for him, because without that, the regen would be shit. Fuck off Trickster's Ring. Band of Distilled Mana. So this would give more mana, more health. Half the mana regeneration and less mastery. So yeah, now that's good. Break this. Actually, not. let's not break it. Let's give it to someone else. Who could, who could like that? Penetration. Penetration. She's all about penetration as well. Wait a minute. I can forge this. Now, there's not much on this one. Give her some movement speed. Although... Actually... 0.1 regeneration! Wow! What about this guy? Oh, this guy doesn't need mana either. Armor and health and armor and movement speed. Oh yeah, and this is the Thorns Ring. I guess Ring of Mana can go away. Void resistance, health increase, mana increase. Ah! Fuck the Void. Yay! These motherfuckers are disgusting. Just like her. Her. They're all disgusting and he's disgusting with that. Everybody is disgusting. We are leveling up. Min-maxing ourselves for no reason because we are just rolling through people. Hey, there's the last of this thing. Beep-boop-bop. And the travel thing is active, so we need to go all the way back. I feel like you should start making a tier list of all the comedies you watch, so you can't do a top 5 or 10. It's so difficult, but maybe a tier list could work for you. But what would be the point? Is it for like, maybe in the future if you run out of stuff to watch and you want to rewatch re something that you really liked? You can look at your tier list and be like, hmm, what's my top? Ooh, this one, I remember this one, yeah. I ranked it S tier, let's watch it again. Is that why? Or are you just curious what you like the most? But I mean, why would you need a tier list for that? You're already doing so many things! <laughs> I want to make a tier list. Why are people so obsessed with what do I like most and what's my favorite? I never understood that. I never understood it. Oh, personally. Is that an egg? Is it the case of egg? Eggs in chat. Bob, you are the only one in chat. Do the egg emoji. Please. You must. It's mostly because you're curious yourself. I mean, that's fair. That's a valid enough reason. Egg! Yes, very egg. <laughs> egg. Putting it all on a board would make it a lot clearer. Make it easier to sort it. You could do that uh, that tier list generator or whatever the hell. Like the there's there's a bunch of those templates online. You could do that. You know, from like S A B C D E F. You know, with those where the S is the very bright green or very like strong green, and then goes into yellow and then red. Those tier list. Also, I can't help but notice that the <laughs> the enclosure is kind of going into the wall and it's kind of annoying me. Also, there's gold I want to pick up, so let's get, get this over in. Also, thank you for putting the egg in, in chat. A champion stop mid-strike as they hear a shout from Eric. Oh, it's the stuff Eric needs. Wow, everybody's finding what they were looking for. Weapons raised, they look around, observing the shadows around them. Oh, it's the seed! Uh, it's kind of an egg. After a moment, they turn towards the druid. What's wrong, Eric? Do you sense anything? 
Eric points ahead, his hands shaking and eyes wide open. He doesn't even have eyes anymore, he's a tree. I succeed. I have found it. Go, Eric, go to your seed. Or. Oh, I'm back in control, okay. Gold! Mmm. <laughs> Yum. We're almost able to upgrade. Uh, actually, I think we can upgrade him. Ooh, we can. Ooh, but uh, who do I want to upgrade more? Ah! Baron, Baron! Ooh, he upgraded. Oh, he can do the chains. Plus one target will pull it himself. Oh yeah, this. Because this can only get good once it's maxed out, because then it might pull like four or even more targets. But with this, it replaces jump. And that has 30 second cooldown with 25 rage cost. This has 3 second cooldown. Sure, it's the same cost, but, you know, if, she, if he has the rage, he can just jump around. It's like the dash. I like that. And it's, it's honestly more fun than just huh, jump. Instead, he's doing reverse get over here. You know, I like that. It looks cool too. It strikes the enemy's bladder and they burst, burst out with piss. That's that's what it is. Could have all the life or a lot of might or penetration. Hmm, penetration. Ah. Uh. Let's do that, so he's got 20 lines. Yes. Got four more points. So apparently they chose not to do the hammer. It can slow things. It's slow last hammer shatters the bones of the enemy, slowing them permanently until the end of combat. It's so useless. Because they will die. Like if they are not the boss, they will die. And if they are the boss, chances are they will just engage the party's main tank. And not move around anyways. And we already figured out that slow only slows down their movement speed, not their attack speed, so... That's booby. Actually, no, if it was booby, it would make it good, so that's poopy, rather. And this one is Shatter's Armor, reducing it permanently. And that's not enough at this point. It would, you have, to, it would have to be maxed out, but even then, you can just enchant the melee weapon with Armor Shatter, and then... Yeah. This is kind of shit. And its damage is... yeah. I mean... It doesn't have skill power increase, so that's why. Still. Extra. Bruh. 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 This is his rage generator. It's kind of needed. Winterwall is kind of disappointing as well. Cleave is mech as well. He's kind of mech. He has some fun stuff that can synergize with the party, but he's mostly mech. He's, he's truly just a tank, another tank. Like Kane. He just sits there and tanks. I guess. Cleave damage. Wow. Or shout. An extra second. And this is his best ability. <laughs> he shouts and then he starts pulling himself everywhere. He's just pulling himself. If you know what I mean. Anyways, I'm mainly leveling him up to see his uh, character morale's change. What kind of changes his go th he goes through? Ooh. Did he go through anything else? Come off there. Oh, he's in Rakem now. He, I think he's glowing more brightly now. But don't run away from me! Oh. Ooh. He has a glowing crotch. Like a, a different colored glowing crotch now. And I think it is glowing brighter. Gonna turn into a snowman, I knew it! Seed. Oh, we just took it! Huh. You don't have eyes, stupid, you're a tree, you can't look, idiot. That's exactly right. He's, he's a tree, I mean, you can see. He has a mask. I mean, don't let, don't be fooled by the little uh, glowing eye looking thing behind it. He's a tree. You see, he's touching his other arm because the tree-ness is spreading. It started with his with his right arm and then it just spread and he's a tree now. Interestingly, his legs are fine. Although they need to be fine, otherwise he, we would have to leave him behind. And she's got no feet now. 
God damn, everybody's turning into some kind of demigod. <laughs> Just probably do it in Google Sheets? Eh, that's a way. It's an easy way, but then Google would know. Where you put the multi camera laugh track shows in one tier list, and single camera no laugh track in another. Laugh track is so lame. I know you really can't figure out how you would rank the multi camera ones. What is multi camera laugh track? Like, how can you have a laugh track with multiple angles? It's sound. I don't get it. I don't get it. The sound of trickling water and the smell of fresh air and damp earth grabs your attention. Though they arrive potent and vibrant, you realize only the druid's senses deliver them. Without a word to the others, Eric moves to the nearby wall and sweeps his hand above the stones. Another sensation of warmth radiating from an unseen source rushes across your hand. What did you find, Horns? There's something beyond this wall. Smiling. I have a good eye, sir, druid. This master for deception is not out the door of any nature. Pushing on a few of the stones, Rakim forces the wall back. What wall? It's a tube. Loud clang rings out, followed by a rattling of chains as the wall slowly slides away. Intense heat. I feel like this was supposed to look a lot different, but... Because these don't match up. <laughs> Intense heat from a handful of red hot rocks embedded in the walls. Ceiling and floor force everyone to shield their faces and step back. Everyone save Eric, who steps forward into a small nook-like chamber, as if mesmerized. Hold on. Okay. Alright, internet access thing is not overheating. I kind of forgot to heat it. But apparently it's fine. Or cool it. Chamber. The elf's hair blows wildly as he had- What hair? Those are roots! Look, he's got roots! enters the nook, moving towards a mound of stone and earth protruding from the back wall. A single stream of clear water tickles... What are we fucking reading? That's, that's not what is there. Uh, someone pissing down the wall across the earthen protrusion, forming a pool around fish-sized cream-colored crystal. Nasty. The mineral has clouded over in time and lies speckled in moss-like growths. Never seen a crystal like that. There are a few who have. You recognize it, Elder. Is it valuable? Ah, oh, he just called him old. As my eyes deceive me, this is truly priceless. Priceless? Ooh. Eric raises his iron rod with a quick swipe, lashes out, shattering the crystal to pieces. Zelda's look on in surprise and concern. Eric creatures down and extracts a large acorn like nut. Elves' eyes well up with tears. A life oak seed. A gazette's life spark. Energy from the natural world of the first age. It's. it's indescribable. A single seed will return life to the endless forest, give my people a second chance, despite the invaders plans of Artara. <laughs> right. Whisper floats past the others like a fart in the wind. The rest before the druid. As she gazes at the seed, her eyes glow brightly. This cannot be. It's a good snack and he eat and she eats it. Yeah. <laughs> shows with multi cameras usually have love track too, and shows with single camera usually don't have love tracks. So it's budget. Budgets? Wait, there are shows that are only filmed with one camera? And they just, what, drag the camera between sets or something? Interesting. From, and everything is from the same angle? Nasty. What is it, your highness? I've witnessed first-hand the wreck of Celestial Night. An item crafted from the very energy which, have the, which gave the world form. My people know of no greater source of power. Yet the simple seed rivals its power, perhaps contains even more. Yes, it's a seed. It's a tiny, tiny speckle of immense energy that creates life. Whisper reaches for the seed, causing Eric to recoil with narrowed eyes. Give it to me, and I will forge this energy into an item of unsurpassed power. Bottom of the tower will not evade us with such an item in our possession. Are you mad, woman? Stay back! Have you not heard anything I have said in all the time we've been together? This is the very reason I came to this place. It and it alone is the salvation of my people. Don't be a fool. What good is it if you never see the surface again? The power of the seed's gift, if you must open and make use of right now. Why, we still have the chance. Fuck off, Whisper. We don't use you, because we have better people. You're not bad, but we have better people. 
So Eric, who's one of the fucking main murder machines of our team, and also the one that keeps us alive and puts a lot of boots on the floor during battles, he'll get his seed. And you can fuck off. <laughs> Do not mistake my passion for selflessness. The item of its making need not be mine. I'll craft it for any one of us, as the group sees fit. But this is an opportunity we must not, not waste. Eggs hand tightens around his weapon. For the first time, you feel one of your champions actively resist your bond. Druid's will is so resolute, your connection weakens with each passing moment. That's okay. If he kills Whisper, I wouldn't care. Shots are more cinematic with single camera? I have no idea what that means. Is this like Pamir plan? Or plan? Or some plane? Or whatever the fuck? It's the only thing I know. I didn't like media class back in high school. <laughs> it was fucking pointless and stupid. We had... We had a mandate, mandatory media class. It's like, why? Why isn't it something that you can choose to attend as an extracurricular thing? Why does it have to be a part of the fucking main thing? It was stupid. Because <laughs> I, for one, didn't find it interesting. X and Titans around his weapon? Oh yeah, he wants to kill. All right. Don't really have a problem with Laughter Arc. You find that shows with Laughter Arc are actually more relaxing and easy to watch. Not exactly sure why. So you like to listen to dead people's laughter. Maybe because I don't have to use much brain power watching those. I mean, sitcoms usually don't require brain power. Just like most anime and most series, most movies these days, at least the big ones. The big ones are so fucking brain dead, it's just, eh, put it on and just, bleh. Suddenly an hour passed, maybe two. <laughs> Perfect for background noise. This may very well be the last life oak seed in existence. Its power is not to be squandered in the creation of an item of men. No matter how powerful or useful it may be, it would be a ring or probably an amulet. And we just made a bunch of good amulets. Two of the same. Egg mumbles under his breath in Elvish, causing the seed to take on a green luminous, luminance. The glow slowly spreads across the druid's entire body. Oh god, he's going to make it his own! He's gonna shove it up his own arse! Down onto the floor, where it splits into a dozen distinct lines. As each line travels toward the walls, small green shoots rise up from the floor. Oh, he just planted it right here. Fuck it, it's gonna become the tower. The shoots sprout and grow with unnatural speed. In moments, the entire nook is covered in lush greenery and unrecognizable exotic blooms. The champions stand in awe before the natural power of the seed, all except one. Such narrow sightedness. You would keep such power for yourself, presume to decide the fate of all. Just as your ancestor did when they broke the treaty. Oh, Lothrian! Oh, we know about that! Actually, we don't, because none of the fucking things talked about it. But, you know, we know about it because of the clock puzzle. Gideon used magic to defend Lothrien. Exercise boil with rage. Ew, he doesn't have eyes. He's a, street. He's a tree. Lies. Don't, don't listen to these lies. <laughs> the mystic's words. As the truth cuts deep into the druid, he drops his eyes. He drops his eyes in shame. So he had his eyes in his pocket or somewhere all along. And he dropped them. Now he truly has no eyes. He dropped his eyes. The very fate of Elvenkind rests on my shoulders. My people will live or die by this seed. I cannot fail them. You're failing us all by keeping it, Druid. Firm. Enough, your highness. The Druid came to this tower, seeking the very thing he now holds. It is his to do as he wishes, and there is nothing more to be said on the matter. Now, let us move on. Ascane moves away and the others turn to follow. Whisper shakes her head with disgust. Austin thought, I was hoping that this would be a discussion point. And I could obviously take Eric's side and get some mana regeneration back, but meh. Most thought Eric remains motionless, contemplating the mystic's words with a heavy heart. He doesn't have a heart, he's a tree. Looking at a small green shoot, he watches as a small chrysalis appears, grows and hatches, releasing a brilliantly colored butterfly right before his eyes. A wooden butterfly. Life always finds a way. So does death, so, you know. You're right, Mystic. It is not for me or any other elf to decide the fate of our tower. 
The champion stop and look back at the druid. Oh my god, he's gonna commit suicide! He's gonna eat the seed and turn into a tree! <laughs> yeah, like the fucking elves in uh, Divinity Original Sin 2! They turn into a tree! In camera means the camera usually moves around more and can film from all sides because the fourth wall isn't missing. It's not missing? Basically it shows with single camera usually look more engaging, put more effort into camera work. I mean they have to, they only have one camera. <laughs> I don't know Bob, I'm not that fascinated by the ins, the inner workings of the uh, the movie movie things doesn't doesn't uh, capture my interest too much but I mean hey you know a lot of things about a lot of things and that's good that's pretty cool keep it up because you will have knowledge on everything and that's good on the other hand, I have a knowledge of nothing, <laughs> so whatever you say is just news to me and I, I suck up knowledge, yes, knowledge, knowledge is good. Uh, where Did I read this? No, I didn't. Uh, we else have carried the burden of my people's self-centered decision for far too long, it's time we absolved ourselves of that wrong. You see, it is the single greatest hope of forever kind, but if you believe... It will better serve all of Artar by another means, so be it. Take it as you... What? Take it and do as you wish. No, with Elven blessings. No, Eric, don't give up your seed. Don't give your seed to that woman. She's the worst of them. Give it to the Sun Goddess. Or the Stimpunk chick. Or Boron, I mean... Look at his beard, hmm. <laughs> While our champions even Whisper herself stand before the druid in shock and surprise. In truth, each champion recognizes value in either Eric or Whisper possessing the seed. Their indecision is so strong, a mere notion of your desire will say, Hey, it is a fucking decidation thing. Uh, Eric, obviously. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> nice. You are not king, and only my even Connie serve under your command. The rest of the champions volunteered for this quest. Why they pledged? Wait, we are not king. But in one of the fucking things, they talked about us as, as if we were a king. A ruler, but we are not. Huh. That's just, you just take a single look at friends in the office and you can immediately tell the difference. Ah, I think I see what you mean. Yeah, in the office, they, they zoom in on faces more, right? They, they do more dramatic dramatic things. I haven't seen The Office, but I've seen a lot of clips of it. And I've seen a lot of the friends when I was younger. And yeah, it mostly does, you know, the same distance from characters, the same sad angles in, in the in certain sets. Like if they are in, in the fucking Enjoy's uh, apartment, it has like two angles and two angles only. The same difference, you know, either the uh, the couches in front of the TV or the pult, or the uh, bar pult in the kitchen or something. <laughs> it's always that. But in the office, I, I, you know, on the clips, they have this, oh, zoom in on him doing the parkour on the on the couch and shit. And like, oh. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I get it or not, but, but that's a good example. So I'm guessing Office is one camera and the uh, Friends is two camera because it's more lifeless. And the uh, Office is more engaging camera work. Did I get it? Or am I completely backwards? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, they volunteered for the cast while they pledged their loyalty. Each joined for reasons of their own. Knowing full well that I folk seed was Eric's purpose, you cannot rob the elf of his prize. Besides, your champions have succeeded so far. You have every faith. No powerful relics are required to claim the prize you seek. The seed goes to Eric. Eric nods and bows. As of Artara, graciously accept this most extraordinary gift. We are truly in your debt. What are you talking to? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> that doesn't matter, because we don't use her. 
Ah, uh, skulk. I still skulking too. Like they are both unreceptive now. But hey, that's plus two. So from minus three, you went to minus one. Nice. It's coming back. It's coming back, baby. Everybody got point two mana regeneration. That's nice. I like that. So I'm guessing the next thing is going to be Vispers book or whatever she's looking for. And we're gonna burn that book. Conservatory. Get an enchant scroll. Elemental Aura 3! Alright. Let's get your elemental auras in. I think it's for the leg one and not the feet. Oh, that's resistant aura, of course. So, leg armor. Actually, not leg armor, chest armor. Yeah. So who has chest armor thing? Magi. Oh, so no one has it. Meal. I could give him even more skill power. Oh. So this one. Yeah, both of them are the same strength. Yeah. But he needs that thing. Because without that... Actually, without that, he's got 13.4% regeneration. Oh, that's the Magi Bastion. Never mind, this depends. Yeah. Six ain't good enough. Yeah. Bam. Should I min-max him a little more? Mm. This is the enchant on him. Without the enchant, it has 12% crit chance. I might be able to craft him some helmets. A normal helmet with nothing, skill power helmet, mm. and resistance helmet. Obviously, it would be the skill power. Yeah. <laughs> it's doing the fucking negative mono points. Why? Life, regeneration, mastery. Speed, mind, resistance. Give me criticals, man. Ah, and the blue. All right, we're not gonna. He don't care. Because I don't want to lose that 12% uh, critical chance, so the devastation would need to be on it. The constructs could be replaced with something else, though. Because that's just garbage. It gives more armor, but that movement speed is more important than the armor. Especially now that I removed his thorns, he doesn't really care about that. He's, he has enough health to tank. And he can increase his armor with, with the uh, this thing. Although not by much. This is so fucking bad. Yep, you got exactly what I wanted to propagandate to you. What? What? Propo what? What is that word? <laughs> uh, propagandate. What the fuck is that? Propagandate. It, it, what? What is that word? Propo. That's, that's not a word. Like propaganda? <laughs> or propagate? Is it like, did you mash those two words up? Into each other? I'm confused! <laughs> but I'm glad I got it. Which means your uh, example was spot on. You pulled up two shows that are known enough that even I know about them. Strange quiet area with ample seating. A broken display on the wall reads next transport delayed. Oh, it's a, it's a waiting station. And even even I got the uh, got the gist of it. Good job. That's actually pretty good. That's a good good thing. What the fuck? No cutscene. I think. 
or we just sit here? Oh no, cutscene. Then, after countless days and nights, Proteus felt the surge of power. A bridge had stabilized, and the Organte were ready to cross. He stood up and approached the portal. He projected all his life force into an energy disk and thrust it into the portal. When he and the other Magi had devised the plan, they were hoping that the different laws of physics in the two universes would negate each other in the connection point and yet coexist at the same time. They assumed that their energy would nullify energy of the Organte, creating a void zone which nothing could cross. When he heard a mind-shattering cry of rage from the other side, he knew they were correct. The bridge was blocked, and the Organte could not cross. As long as this one was opened, they could not form a different bridge elsewhere. The bridge was blocked, but not closed. His life force still depended on his body, so he knew he had to protect it somehow, hide it. So he raised the tower above the ground, then turned it around and thrust it deep into the ground to prevent anyone from ever reaching him. The portal, the bridge, still connected to him, was taken deep below ground. Deep underground, covered by layers of rock and dirt, Proteus sits on his crystal throne and keeps his eternal watch, his life force the only thing preventing destruction. Two opposing forces waiting ever since for the resolution of this struggle. Proteus can hear the Organte's whispers from the other side, pleading, begging, reasoning. He can also feel their thoughts, boundless, maddening rage, but also their equally infinite patience. For the Organte know that nothing in the universe is eternal, apart from their hunger. They know that all things must come to an end, and only they will remain beyond the end of time. So... So, the Organte are hungry, but they don't actually have to eat because if they would have to eat, they would have, like, in this thousand or however many years, they would have just, you know, sought out another food source, right? I mean, there's the world of the orcs. They could go there. They could have gone there. But apparently they didn't. They're just sitting and they're like, come on, Proteus, die already so we can come across. So that's one weirdness. And the other thing is, this kind of explains the plot. We need to reach the bottom. So, us, as in the guy that's sitting on the on the top, which is the bottom, but since it's upside down, it's the top now, can become the replacement for Proteus, probably. Because his life force is fading away, so he needs an equally strong replacement, that, and that's gonna be us. So our champions need to go down there, so we can activate the teleports, and we can teleport down there and sit on the throne, and be basically link the fire. I mean, uh... Wait, that's Dark Souls. Uh, you know, it's it's that. I'm calling it. I'm calling it now. We're gonna have to be the replacement for Proteus. Yes. Yes. Because, I mean, we are already sitting on another crystal throne. 84, get out of here. They're, like, probably the most popular shows of respective types. Yeah, that's true. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, both are pretty popular. But... Still, it was still a good, good expl or a good example. Oh, the metal doors. Ah, so this room is blocked by these metal doors. So I'm guessing we can't open this one either. Biotanics. Ooh, it's like botanics, but biological, which is but botanics already is. So. No, the mechanical console, that's where they make the, the void golems or something, I don't know. We got a thousand monies, though. Oh, look at that. Here, Boron, you got the super rage again. Super rage. 
damage, attack speed, and movement speed. He cannot control himself. He's going all over the place and he getting into little axes and stuff. I already forgot what these do, but this was kind of bad, I think. Yeah. For 30 seconds, you can't control him. Like, eh. <laughs> Why? Oh, yeah, and he doesn't even have enough rage to, <laughs> to get that off. Nasty shit. Alright, we can level up his shouting. Shouting is stronger, or shouting gives people speed. Oh, this one gives more rage. Eh, kind of pointless. Honestly, this this is all it needs to be. Winter Wonderland. Eh, oh, we have one point left. Why would he need might? Oh yeah, for penetration, because I mean, he would be both physical and magic. Uh, kinda needs mastery as well. In that regard. So this cleave would get extra... Oh no, it's only the cleave. Oh, this gives rage as well. Rage or water. This would benefit from skill power. He doesn't really need skill power. Speed. Nah, yeah, I might. Up. Oh. He's a mighty, mighty warrior. Ooh, ooh. Did he get anything new? Oh, he got some kind of thigh armor. I think that's new. E. E. Cool. Cool thing. Transportation hub. It's the only way we can go, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you can't open these doors, right? In the case, good talk. Go watch Seinfeld. No. Arrested Devil Open. No. And always sunny. Maybe. You're leaving? Alright, Bob. Wait. Next level? What? What? No! Oh wait, we're not done yet. We have the teleportation disc. What the fuck am I doing? I almost left. Oh my god. Where is the... Is this this? Yeah, travel disc. So we go back here. We go back to the lava caves. Whoa. Lava caves. Have fun, Bob. Although it's probably sleep time. Because it might be like 11 p.m. for you. It's only 10 p.m.? I've only been going for three hours, damn. It just went by like nothing. But at the same time, I thought it was longer. I don't know, it's weird. Teleport. Frost pants, ooh. Pick up the, pick, pick, what? That different elevation? Must be. Yeah, it is. Uh. Frost Pansu. It's the Pansu of Frost. Ooh, Boron, you got some Frost Pans. Zoran already has the Frost Vest. So it's only fitting that he gets the Frost Pans. Then again, let's see what these do. So, yeah, as expected, water resistance is high. It doesn't have penetration, it gives some health. Three might. Towards three! Ah, I mean, that's an enchantment you can put on pants already, so it's not really unique. Which kind of sucks. Ancient leather pants or frost pants. Obviously, frost pants. You want the angel leather pants? No. Right. It was six purple though. Ooh, frost paints. Frost vest. Oh, frost vest also has thorns. Look at that. But it's only one. Oh, so I could give him the the thorns ring. Twenty five. Fifty seventy five plus twenty five. Oh my god, he could have hundred percent of his armor. As true damage, in a four meter. Uh, radius every second.
However, since he's medium armor, his armor won't be as high as, you know, heavy guy. And Frost Vest is kinda shit, armor-wise. It's a tier 2. Like, the the Thorns Ring is fine, because... You know, it's, it's a ring. It, it doesn't really need anything else. What kind of armor rings could we make, anyways? Penetration, health, mono... Like, normally you can't really make armor rings, anyways. It has to be an enchantment on them. Or a, you know, a... Like a... a thing. A modifier. Do we have any non-unique ring? Oh, there we go. Yeah, because it's like penetration... Oh, so it, yeah, it... The Mystic is probably the Mana Regeneration? I'm guessing the parrying is the armor. And the Mystic is the penetration, maybe. Or vice versa, who knows. Arcane of Reconstruction also has penetration. So who knows. But yeah, so it has to be some kind of modifier. And, and even then... A tier 3 only has like 4 armor on it. It's blue. So this tier 2 with the 6 armor is pretty good. Thorns 1. Uh, I don't think he would be as good. It's like a tier 5 chest gives 13 armor. Tier 5 chest here gives 35. So, yeah. Uh, although the extra 25% might make up for it. But I mean, why would I use him? Because what? Which of his skills are good for the party? He can move around, but Kane can move around. Uh, he can do threat generation, but he already has the chains to move around. He can do a winter wall. It's like, yeah. He doesn't really have a good supporting things, and Kane has like healing. Armor for everybody, including summons, both the healing and the armor. It's got the invulnerability or invincibility aura or invulnerability aura. You know. Inboron could have higher health pool, but his rage thing is more unreliable than just mana regeneration that you can just crank up real fast. But it's cool that he can have thorns, so everybody could have thorns. But they don't. Regardless, that's that's a decent decent item. Ooh, a relic chest, I want Relic Chest, come to me. No! Oh wait, it opened Endless. What is that noise? I thought that was coming from the chest. I thought it was like a mimic. It opened before we got there. It kinda scared me. Is that the chat or oh, the scroll that's doing that? noises at me. Reinforcing melt cap of ruin. Oh, so it has the critical. Oh, yes, but it doesn't have the penetration. The penetration is from the enchant. I would have to forge this. And unless until I forge it, it's not better. It gives movement speed. 4% extra crit, but no no penetration. Yeah. I could keep this until I find a forge, although I kind of want to forge this or this. Although, why would I want to forge this? It would give it another magical property. It would give it a, a suffix. Which could be good. It could be of anxiety or something and just give her speed even more. Although it needs double forge for purple, and this one only needs one. Main! I need more forges. Alright, Greater Skull. Greater Skull. Penetrating armor is essential ability requiring all the artifice of whoever makes the weapon, and all the guile and strain of whoever wields it. Either one without the other is useless. Even the finest blade is useless in the hands of the untrained, even against the simplest of armor. Minus three armor penetration, plus three armor. That is pretty cool for someone I... I use... It's, it's him. 
So he's got only 26 armor penetration now, but he broke 200 armor. That's pretty dope. That's what he needs. Armor, armor and more armor. He doesn't care about any penetration. He just stands there. Stands there in thorns. Thorns is... Is this the whole area? Where are we? Ooh, it's a secret area. There's something more. There has to be a key or something for those... For those metal doors. Come on. A relic chest. Be a mimic. No. Ooh, an amulet. Uh, frenzied Mel amulet of obsession. Ooh. Void resistance. Magic penetration. 25%. Ooh. Attack speed, cooldown change, wait a minute. Okay, so resistances I don't care about for this guy. 25% extra penetration is good. Minus 100 mana is bad, but he already has 500, so that's fine. More regeneration is good, attack speed is okay. Lower skill power, although the penetration makes up for it. Less cooldown. I mean, more cooldown. You know. Even less mono. This could be good. Could be good. Wait, I could forge this. Good chance, cooldown. What would I put on this? Which one is more important? This cooldown is good enough. Good chance would be the nice thing. It would have 70 crit chance. It's only 70% cooldown, but it's still good because 70% is the the minimum I want him to be on. 144% penetration. Holy shit. Oh yeah, because he's got the spectral sight. So that extra 25% is not 25%. It's 30%. Wow. It would lose the 2% crit, but I can put it back. It would have abysmal mana regeneration. Oh, but I, I put the thing on it. Hold on. Let me look. Oh, cat time! Cat, cat arrival. Twelve point nine, eleven point six. I mean, that's fine. Two hundred seventy-seven skill power and ninety-five skill power. Mm. So what would I gain again? I would gain thirty percent magic penetration. Lose twenty percent skill power. Almost. Lose five percent skill cooldown. So mana regeneration. A lot of mana. 356 mana is not enough. He burns through that pretty fast. Especially with this cooldown. I think this might be better for the dwarf man. Who has the exact same amulet. But he doesn't need all that mana point. And the penetration would serve him really well. The attack speed he doesn't care about. He cares less about the attack speed than Eric. So most of the time he doesn't get into melee range anymore. 350 mana for him is okay. 40% cooldown is okay. 162 penetration. Loses a lot of skill power though. But that penetration makes up for it. 30%. Yeah. I should keep this amulet. This amulet is pretty good. Who could use this? I guess Whisper could use this. Armor, regeneration, 4% crit chance. Yeah, Whisper's thing is shit. Ooh, 162% penetration. 
This fire is going to deal a decent amount of damage. And we can put something on it, like... Crit. 36% crit. Uh, that's pretty dope. He might need some mana, though. Everything is for- oh, this isn't forged. Five mana, ooh. Or some- or more might, ooh. Not... Gives him more penetration. Yeah, because it is five might plus the 10%. It's actually a decent amount. It's 15% or something. That's nice. Alright. Cool. Rakim, getting get the fuck down there, getting ever stronger. Oh wait, we can actually go around here. I just realized we can pass through. Although this is probably pointless. It's just another way of getting there. Yeah. So we don't know how to open those doors, but that's not cool. How do we open those doors? Maybe I was supposed to uh, do something else. Maybe if we set these to something else, we can open the door. Maybe if we set these to their opposite. Oh, I can't actually touch them anymore, so that's fine. How do we get in here? What did I. What could I have missed? Electric panel. That was the listening device. Although we have to come back to this floor, right? Because we're gonna fix this thing with parts found on the next floor. Apparently there's another floor. What in the shit? Memory stone. Travel disc. Panel. Oh, get time.
So, how do we open the doors? Um, 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 um. I'm going to Google it. Because if it's on the next floor, then we can just move on. And if it's on this floor, I don't feel like looking for it, so it's easier to just look it up. It's on the 10th floor, but it's on the next floor. Hey, easy. So we don't need to look at everything and read everything, because, you know, alternatively, that's what I would have done. It would have been like, which enemy holds the key? What have I missed? Hey, there was a mimic on this floor? What? I don't remember that. Is it still glowing at me? Did I not touch? Oh. Wait, we are already on level 10. Wait, no, we're not. Why is this tower level 10? Is there supposed to be on level 9? I guess now we know what's gonna be on level 10. A lot of these things. Or do those things. Two mechanical components, fist device, and organ the universe. But might not be on this floor, yeah. Point of view. We got all the diaries. I wonder if this will give us, like, different endgame talky-talks, dialogues, you know? I wonder. Secret discovered. Found the correct sequence for the elemental statues. I mean, this was pretty goddamn obvious, wasn't it? A secret void laboratory. Try to open the door. Out of closed doors blocked away. There's a way to open them, maybe. So, you know... Remember the, the wisp on one of the floors that it was like, maybe sometime later we'll find a way to let him out without killing his ass. But it's marked as completed quest, so we're never gonna go back to him. Just like we're never going to get rid of the frog from our inventory. It's a forever frog. Well, I guess this is the first floor that I leave without 100%ing it. So one battle in here, two more chests, two side quests, one is the listening device, and, and, and yeah, one is the actual opening the metal doors. Hm. Alright. Okay. The next level, to the final, 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 final floor. The forever final floor. The tenth... Tenth th th floor. <laughs> this this one was small. All things considered. I mean, it looks short, ginormous, but... It's only because this one is far away from this. But most of it was like empty corridors where literally nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I mean, there was a fight here and... I think here as well, the big guy, but... Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Corridors. There were some dudes here, but... Yeah. I don't think anything happened here. This is where Rakim left us. And this is where Rakim came back. <laughs> and there was one fight here. But yeah. What's the time? Oh yeah, we can go. We can go more. Uh, this feels wrong. Descent. Ooh, look, they have, like, panels on the, f on the on the ceiling or something. Who's gonna read that? For TVs. What is that? I guess that's the way back that we can't use, and there is some blockage here, so we can't go there. So we go this way. This is the Conservatore! Go back to the city, so we can read its description. Conservatory. This floor is filled with power generators created to supply the whole tower with necessary electricity. It wasn't that the, the shattered floor or the mono refinery that was also making power. Yeah. Although, actually, it was making mana, but something was overloading it and creating excess power. We had to turn it off. 
It's also a place where magi researched new ways of cultivating the land and tried to create flora capable of surviving the harsh conditions of the devastated Artara. Ooh, that looks cool. Red. A lot of red. One main quest, side quest, five scrolls, 16 battles, a secret room, and 26 chests. Whoa. We will definitely have enough money to... 15. At least one more person. Ooh, what the hell? A barrier? Radiation? <laughs> what the fuck? Sci-fi. Elemental Spirit 2. 12% mono. I mean, that's actually not bad. You can put it to Rakam. Actually, we can put it to Rakam. Oh, there's his mana solved. Look at that. Like. 351. 388. And the more mana he has, the more regeneration he has as well because of the life spirit. 388 is pretty good. Hey, look at that. 12.8 now. Nice. Who else has unenchanted rings? Everybody has like unique fucking rings. Just fine. Cool. Let's check if this radiated barrier out. Energy barrier, okay. So we lost our ability to suck up barriers. We only did that once. The very first barrier. Ah, we need to find a way to suck it up. Ooh, we find a way to suck it up. And then the, the, the later on the barriers were like, ah, we can't really do anything with this. Like, what? Laboratore. The champions approach the entrance to the grand, to grand chamber. The sound of a heated discussion echoes throughout the halls. A shimmering light illuminates your champion's faces as they near cautiously. One all too familiar voice causes Kane's grip to tighten around his blade. Oh shit, it's the Avatar. Have you lost all sense of reason? The plan is sheer madness and illogical. Destroying a world in order to save it. The Tower Avatar stands before the bright illuminated likeness of a human male. The figure is motionless for a moment, then moves it with hands clasped behind his back, encircling the avatar. You have seen this animated imagery before among the Deva, yet there's something oddly familiar about the human's appearance. It's Proteus! Ta-da! It is! Even after all these years, you still try to prevent the inevitable. Though your creators were traitors, I commend the undying perseverance they integrated into your circuits. Alas, poor avatar, if you knew the universe as I knew it. You would know without doubt. The hour grows too late to implement any other plan. It falls to their shoulders now, and there's alone. Proteus! Gala charges toward the holographic image of her brother. Wait, so it is... So Proteus is her brother, but... On the previous floor, when Ma Maeve was like, Proteus, you see your brother? She was like, no, it's not that. But... But now it is. Ah! <laughs> <clears throat> For a moment, Proteus' eyes grow large at the sight of his sister. Wait, it's happening now, but why was the Tower of Avatar the blue version and not the red version? So, this is happening now. Form seems to whisper the word no, but before any, could, any sound could, can be heard, the Tower of Avatar throws up her hand, causing the vision of the Ancient to vanish. Oh, they were, she was like, stop listening into our conversation, God damn it, Assholes. It's rude. His eyes grew anime. Tell me, Avatar, is he real? Does my brother somehow still draw breath within these walls? It's too obvious that he's her brother. That's too lame, man. Lame! It should have been Sleeth. That would have been more drama. Listen to me, engineer of old. You among all of them should know. Proteus' plan is nothing short of insanity that will undo the very fabric of Ratara. Search your heart. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. <laughs> <laughs> it fucking says that. Strong pressure builds against your mind as you watch the Avatar speak to Kayla. Pressure continues to condense, causing the connection between your champions to waver. Got a fucking aneurysm. Got a tumor in her brain. Someone or something is clearly trying to disrupt your bond with your champions. Slowly drawing his blade, we know that he the lies of traitors. While the other members of your party stand ready, expecting a discussion with their erstwhile ally. Eh? Kane rushes toward the water like a man possessed. 
That pause and intermittent aura surrounds the avatar. Her armor shifts to hues of deep red. There we go. And scarlet. This construct rushes to meet Connie's aggression. Wait a minute. So. We, we saw them through a hologram that they were talking, right? But then Connie was like, I'm gonna slice this hologram in half. And she was like, you know what? I'm gonna spawn a bunch of shit. And we're actually fighting her. 60,000 health. Oh boy. Blue Golem, Green Golem, Topaz Golem, Absorber, Mystic Golem, Elite Sentry. These are like three floors. Old, useless things. But she's new. First incarnation of the Tower of Tar. Oh, there might be more of her. It's fire damage, not a lot. We can negate like 80% of that. No penetration either. Not a lot of armor for a boss. Ah, uh, Splash Mountain is going to be useless against her, but not useful against useless against the things. Let's look at that. 20%, 30%, 20, 40, 30, 50. Yeah, Splash Mountain is still going to be useful. Fire is okay and water is okay from the uh, champions. Mm, force field. Creates a force field around herself, increasing armor by 80, reducing elemental resistance by 20%. Oh yes, do it. Spam this, please. <laughs> Energy discharge. Damage aura. Champions take 150 air damage per second. That's fine. Blizzard. Powerful blizzard. Ice chunks fall from the sky freezing. The slows enemies. Effects are unpredictable. So she's basically Whisper. Gravity zone totem. Yep, she's Whisper. Gravity totem that pulls all targets to its center. Tower of Tar herself is assaulting your party. She decided to make the stand herself. She's gonna fucking die. She's gonna fucking die. Oh, we're fighting in the warehouse. There's the drunk orc up here. Alright. Predict where she's gonna come from. I think she's gonna come from here. No! She came from there and she's flying. Look at her. Can she fly through that? Yes. Oh, she's ranging! Move Run! Ah, she can't fly there. Resistance reduced. Wait, her resistance is minus zero armor. Wait, who did you hit? Who did she hit? She hit my Eve for quite a lot. And she retaliated with reduced resistance. Somehow. Look, she's got... Oh, she put the thing on herself, that's why. She put the armor stuff on her, because her elemental resistances are lowered. It wasn't uh, my Eve. Look at his shield! Whoa! Sparta! Will do. Weep. Yes. Kill these... At once, sire! Pooper. May the light guide your path. Alright, you're in there. Orders? Bunny Marte. Uma de la. Oh shit, there's something. Right between the eyes. It's dead though. Yes, moving! Maninata. Watch it, guys, she's gonna blow. At your service. <laughs> he just didn't care. Yes, my lord. Shoot them. My blade is yours to command. He can keep the reinforced armor up just constantly. Yes. Hey. Oh, she died. We. Oh, she just left. Okay. Okay. Damn, she tore some shit up. Only 391 monies for this. Wow. Avatar stumbles backward, crashing into the wall. Though she survived, she's clearly weakened, having barely enough energy to stand upright. She was. Nothing. Oh, look, she just came here, huh? Okay. Oh, wait, she was stalking. 
So, so she was here, but he was the. It's just the. Wait, she wasn't there though, before the fight. Maybe she teleported here. I don't know. I don't know. This is not over. The sudden explosion of luminance, the water forces your champions to avert their gaze, and the light subsides, and your party once again looks in her direction. She's of, she's no more. She's dead. She's self-destructed. And later light returns, shimmering from behind your party. Connie is first to spin around to face it with its sword drawn, but upon seeing its source, immediately lowers his blade. It's Proteus. Or the librarian guy. Ah, well done, brave champions, well done indeed. In a thousand years, none has come as far as you, and at long last, your journey is nigh complete. Is it, though? Brother, is it truly you? Can you possibly be alive after all this ease? But his approaches and stands before his sister. Yet instead of joy in seeing his sibling after so many years, his face softens with sadness. Your sister, it is indeed I, Proteus. How long I have dreamt of being reunited. I had hoped under better circumstances. Proteus turns his back to your party. Who are you? Are you the reason my lord has sent us to the bottom of this place? And beyond the bottom? Although, now we see the bottom again pretty closely. Interesting. I am, and I am closer than you realize. But to finally reach me, you must shut down the Tower Avatar once and for all. He's literally in this box, bro. <laughs> shut down, you mean kill her. Not at all, Master Frostling. It's good to see your people so strong and full of life once again. I mean exactly what I say, the Magi construct that is the Tower of Adar must be shut down, and in doing so, return her consciousness to the very moment of her creation, and then we will find a way to reach me open. Be open. How exactly do we do? Do we go about shutting the Avatar down? Three data banks in three separate rooms on this level must be disabled. Data banks? My sister understands, Kayla nods. And where are the banks of data found? I take it gaining access to and won't be an easy task. Insightful Master Dwarf. Green rooms can be found here, here, and here. He was shouting these words, but I'm not gonna shout. Here. Corrupted Magi that created the Tower of Dar instilled defense mechanisms in these databank rooms that can only be overcome with pure life essence. Oh no, we're gonna have to sacrifice three of our companions. Boron, Whisper, and Kayla. <laughs> nice. Life essence. We have enough. Do you mean to say one of us must sacrifice ourselves to gain access to each room? <laughs> I would never presume to ask so much from the Queen of Shadows. I mean, she's gonna be one of them. But as measure I have set the price to be paid, I have sensed for some time hostile humans alien to Artara. Scalous as it may sound, I suggest these malevolent beings be sacrificed for our cause. Damn, that's... That's evil. I like it. I came for Artara's blood. Now, let the blood be Artara's salvation. Damn. No mercy. Capturing of living souls. What you ask is beyond our capabilities. Yeah, we can't capture them alive. We can only kill them. <laughs> Image of Proteus presents a large clear crystal in the palm of his hand. Soul crystals from Elder Scrolls. Wow. Add that to the list. As he offers it to your party, it glows to blindingly white light. This crystal holds the power to capture life essence. Presented just after a foe has fallen, and it will draw their life essence without fail. Yep. To release the life essence stored, you need to only expose the crystal and it will and will it to do so. Just lick it and it will release the soul. <laughs> Protis's suggestion of using living beings to disable the tower of Tarkos is shock and hesitation with your party. Scani and the others look to themselves, considering how to respond. The visual representation of Proteus flickers. The ancient touches his head as if under great strain. Hurry! I must go now. I know you have many more questions, especially your sister. You, sister. I will try to answer them all when at least we meet. I have no doubt we'll all meet in person soon. After all, the very fate of our world is at stake. Proteus slowly fades, vanishing before any of your champions can question him further. Wow. Screen narrows. Ooh, so his fart was keeping us behind. Laboratore. Proteus, where are you? Ooh, gold. I want the gold. The gold, you stupid fuck. Go up there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Holy shit. Stairs. 
The bane of every video game. Ooh, probably uses Maldax. Ooh. 108. Uh, I could play with the numbers, but I don't, honestly don't care anymore. 108 sounds okay. 104 sounds not okay. Let's play with this. Oh, fuck. I have to walk there. 114, alright, that's better. Someone's singing? What the fuck is this noise? Door. Oh, that's not a door, it's gold. Is this not open? I'm hearing things, but only from my left ear. Oh, there's a forge. Maldax. Oh, we have two of these fucking hoods now. Maldax, pretty slow, full void damage. And an 80% cleave with Whirlwind 3. Okay. 20% magic penetration. 5 might, minus 3 life. Kinda shitty. Look at these birds. Enforcing of Ruin, so that's the crit one. And this one is Federate of Ruin. Let's compare these. So, Reinforcing has more armor and health and mana. And Federate has movement speed and attack speed. And Reinforcing has also health and mana. Percentage. Federate is better because it has the attack speed. Yeah. Yeah, she is, she is. So this reinforcing ruin can fuck off. And we can forge the Federate. Yes. 4% extra crit chance. Or should I forge this thing? Uh, it honestly has nothing really going for it. So I would only want the chest in chance. He doesn't need this. These are lame. We don't need more of this. And her mana is fine. Oh, look at that crit amulet. Can I not craft crit amulets? Can't. I'm gonna forge his fucking hood. Unless, we could forge his gloves. Give it more armor. Gloves can... What can gloves give? Hold on. And armor. Attack speed and skill code. He doesn't need those. Um, mm -hmm. That'd be a lot of... A lot of forge slots, but I can't increase attack speed on it, so... Yeah. I could give Elemental Aura in this. Or just craft this for extra 4% crit chance, honestly. That's less mana, less armor. Yeah. I could... Ooh, wait a minute. I could forge that. Forge this. Oh, I didn't gain more things! I guess 5 is the maximum amount of forge slots. Dang it! I was kinda hoping for even more... More of that. Oh, well, I gained a... Gained an enchant. Could make it sun-powered. Or just elemental empowerment. Shatter one stack. Chains. 12% chance to daze. And a guaranteed 70% slow. I wonder what the other kind of slow is. You know, the uh, percentage chance slows. I wonder how strong those are. Because this one is 70% strong. And guaranteed. Weird. Eh. Mana drain. 5% damage, he doesn't really care about that, he doesn't care about that, it doesn't stack. 40% damage, strong knockback. 
Oh, this reduces skill damage. Fuck that. Oh, force. Hundred. There's a lot of water damage. He's full on water. He's a water slinger who summons more water. And also summons more water. Oh my god, he's a water mage. Well, now I should break this. Honestly. Now let's wait with it. What can I put on this? Oh, I can put more crit on this. Huh. So it's only for 2% extra crit chance. Unless. Six percent. That's pretty good. Okay, if we find another forge, that gets forged. If we don't find another forge, then well, fuck it. They'll just keep it for a while. How do we get this? Do I just click? Oh, I just click. Holy shit! Armor. Armor. Per Ooh, twelve percent penetration. Oh my god. Or speed. This is pretty dope. What is the other one? Healthy Meldring of Proteus. Life, regeneration, void resistant, health points, get out of here. But the other one is pretty good. 50 mana points, 1% regeneration. Distill the mana. Spirit absorption. Oh yeah, we can't put that in rings, right? Yeah. I could put elemental spirit in there. This thing. 7.1. 128 penetration. Oh wait, this one has... Oh no, it's this one. That it's... Yeah, the trick stays. Three mastery. Yeah, because three mastery also... Oh no, it gives mana regeneration. Okay, so let's enchant this. Ah, oh, we are truly min-maxing now, because none of this matters, to be honest. 12.9. 7.7. Rakem, what do you have here? 8 penetration, 12 penetration. Ooh. More resistances as well, more armor. More health, because we get rid of the Cursed Ring. Less regeneration, but he's got 19.6. Or mana regeneration as well. For movement speed, 5% mana increase. For speed, this could be very good for him. What is the other thing? 10% pressure. Okay, so Cursed Ring is a contender. Although it has 12 armor penetration. 10 penetration. 8 penetration. Although, she needs this mana regen. 9.5. 7.7. Yeah, Rockham is going to take it instead of the Cursed Ring. Yeah. Alright, 14.7 mana. That's amazing. Same skill power. 163.8% thingy. Holy shit. Nice. And we can forge it. Speed. Or speed? Because it gives cooldown. Or... Doesn't. What? Oh, his speed is still just 6, so it doesn't give cooldown yet. Uh, whatever. Elemental spirit, elemental spirit. Honestly, I could change one of these enchants. Then again... Uh, 12%. He's got enough health. That's fine. That's fine. Sieve. I was like, today we're gonna finish this fucking game, but apparently <laughs> it's, it's not gonna happen. I don't wanna go for an extra, like, two hours. I could, but... Uh, it's 11pm. I don't know. What day is it tomorrow? Oh my, we are in the red, apparently. 
Holy shit, we're dropping frames. Stop. Is it Friday today? Oh, it is Friday today. <laughs> it's a little bit more. Get some humans. Seeker, High Guard, Inquisitor, First Knight. With Superiority and Supreme Judicator. We had these, right? Oh yeah, they're the unbalanced. Empire's forces are using this as their main staging area for this floor. Destroy all their portals to prevent further reinforcements. I don't even see the portal anymore in the, on the map. They just have it. So, if we kill these, we'll definitely have at least three souls, right? Right? Yes. Yes. Portalok. Oh. Wish is my command. Kill the Portalok. Rain on Africa. Go. At your service. Damn, they're fucking dead. She just sniped the portal. Acknowledged. On my way. On my way. Unleash hell. At your service. You. All right. Holy shit, fuck. What the hell? My lord. Yes, moving. Affirmative. Your wish is my command. Mani Marte. Yes, my lord. This guy. Yeah. Onwards to the fray. Kill. Wow, wow, he's running. Money not that. Yeah, kill. How may I help? Hell! What is that? Why is there water speed just derping? Cool. We don't have the extra armor. Sucks. Thirty thousand damage. Thirty-one thousand damage. <laughs> Love them. Love them numbers. High numbers. Good numbers. What is this thing? Resistance, 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 res skill power. What is this thing? Oh, critical chance. Oh. Ooh, gold. 108, sure. If violence is required to save Wartar, so be it. I will be the first to draw blood without reservation. But there is something about harvesting the life essence of these intruders that doesn't sit well with me. I agree, men of the North. How the Magi could e have ever required such payment to alter one of their constructs, it just seems to go against everything they stood for. They were the traitors, man. Danger, high voltage. Nice. Don't forget Kayla. They were rebels. The true Magi who cared about Artara and their inhabitants sacrificed themselves, giving their own life essence to Proteus. And the water must be neutralized. If the cost of cost is in life essence, what choice do we have? Still seems strange to go such lanes to kill the Batar. I remember just a short while ago, she helped us through the tower. Do not forget Master Smith. Her intention is not to destroy her, but merely to return her consciousness to that of the day she was created. Reset her ass. Also, what the hell is this thing? I wonder why this is required to seek the audience with my brother. Strange feeling all about about all of this. Something just isn't adding up. Proteus is not Proteus anymore. He's been corrupted by the the things. The the, the Orgonthe. 
Perhaps it is the guilt of harvesting fellow humans that clouds your perception. As far as the Queen of Shadows is concerned, creatures of free will, for good or for bad, reap what they sow. Reap. I'm gonna reap, alright. Active grid. Pluck reads electricity power transmission grid. Jesper seems excited at the thought of some faraway grand city surging with power. Enough power to feed all of the tower's ancient equipment. She still doesn't get it, huh? We've been, we've been over this, but she's still stupid. Whirlwind 3, great. Useless. Why would anyone ever use that? Absolute garbage. Ooh, bow. Get a bow. Two-handed, five bow. It's a spectral meld bow of ruin. Holy fucking hell. 70% critical chance. What the fuck? Alright, but it has no penetration. Okay, so I have to I have to look this up. Is there double crit in Tower of Time? Because if if there is not there's no double crit. Tower of Fantasy, that's not the same fucking thing. What the fuck is Tower of Fantasy? What the fuck? I'm gonna anime shit. Oh, it's Genshin Impact. Number 7. Didn't they just come out with another game? That's the same looking shit. From the same people. What is the maximum crit rate? Genshin Impact fandom. Great. <laughs> Tower of Fantasy, god damn. Tower of Fantasy takes over Tower of Time. When would I want to use two ended weapons for DPS characters? You don't. But I mean, you do. You want magic penetration. Tacticus. That's fucking 40k. What the fuck? Rogue Tower. No! Get the fuck out of here! Tower of Fantasy. How to get more crit? Oh my god, we actually have to go... Page 2? Genshin Impact... Elden Ring, what the fuck? Pokemon! <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> so let's just... Presume there's no double critting, right? Chance to critically hit with a weapon, increasing its damage to 200%. Armor and elemental resistances are applied after. So, I'm guessing there's no, like, it's not 100% crit and 7% chance of another 100% or maybe 200% damage, like in Warframe. So this, 70% critical chance is... Let's just say, it's excessive. 141% chance crit. Which means... It's shit. That is just... It's a beautiful amount of crit, but it's still shit. Yeah. This bow went too hard into crit. And lost sight of penetration. Yeah. 85 is not gonna cut it at this point. I mean, the damage still goes through, I mean, it has... Actually, it has shit damage as well. Yeah. Ah, oh, but... Ah, oh, just to have it! And be able to look at that number, 70% on its own. I could, like... Re I could rewire her other items, but I mean, what would I put on them? What would I want? I mean, I could fix this. Give her a proper... Regeneration, life spirit thing. Then again, I could get rid of the destructive relic amulet. Set his the uh, thingy to see twenty five percent crit chance, twenty four percent. So I could just do that, and I wouldn't even have to max it out because she's over thingy. So you know, I would only need seventeen percent, which is. There. Just boom. I already have that amount of points invested. All I would have to do is keep it up, which I could. 
I can actually do that now. Although this is less input needed. I don't have to care about it. It's a beautiful bow. Well, I mean, one stat on it is beautiful. The rest is kind of shit. Oh, it hurts. But, I mean, this is pointless. Oh. That was nasty. Oh, I'm in pain now. I can't. I don't know if I can hold. Uh, go on. I like these little fucking things. Oh, let's touch a chest. Maybe it will make me feel better. Oh, it's a poo gun. Poo gun. It's a fire with void. Fifteen percent penetration for magic. Pretty cool. And a green pair of pants. That could have a lot. Eight percent. Oh. 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 resistances go up oh my god how do they go up though six 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 oh because five percent void so the average is a lot better because 80 percent are not going to change from this but the void will go higher I see less health less health regen less life oh, I would lose thorns but it's not good I need to double enchant this or not double forge this So if I find two forges, this is getting forged. Because this, this is beautiful. Our camp could keep it while it's not... Oh, actually he can't. He needs that uh, mana stuff, yeah. Ah! <laughs> now I'm not just sad because of breaking the bow, but I'm also frustrated for not having forges. Sheet. Ancient technological device dominates the center of the room. A single metal rod extends from the device up and through a shaft in the ceiling. Two thick bands of copper descend along the rod in a thrilling fashion, making the device look as much a piece of art as a functioning machine. Hmm. Rackham is quick to point out the controls of the machine appear identical to previous Organthe listening devices. The champions begin to debate the risk and reward of using the machine. Rackham flips the switches and activates the machine. Yeah, that's the spirit, Rackham. Just fucking touch it. Brass coils spin around the metal rod, their motion bringing a high-pitched whine. After a moment, the noise gives way to the familiar rhythmic pulses. Whispers that follow are far more pronounced than previous machines. We must stop the one, Proteus. Our universe is not for human minds. His thirst for power has corrupted his vision. He sees us as invaders, as monsters, falsehoods. We are bringers of the light. We have countless civilizations learn and grow. And the death live forever. The middle's power for your civilization. All this and more Organthe offer. All we ask in return is friendship and peace. That's fucking lies. Look at him. He's a fucking amoeba. He's, he's gonna eat us. He's gonna envelop us. And then just melt us down for food. Piece of shit. After the message, lights on the machine start blinking and it powers itself off on its own. Kayla points to a part on the side of the machine, locating the condenser, shouting. Part the librarian is looking for. The engineer of old and dwarven smith quickly extract the component, then carefully place it among their gear. But wait. Oh, it's dead. Won't it quickly degrade if it's not used? Weren't we supposed to, like, you know, rob that pulsating crystal so he can locate this place and just teleport down here, take it and teleport back? Whatever. Gunsa was deliberately shattered by a powerful force, whoever was operating the device long ago apparently disagreed with its purpose. Proteus. He's evil. I mean, they're all evil. Honestly, I want to kill everybody. Forces melt crossbow. Travel this. Okay, so we're gonna teleport down there. And then get the crossbow. A melt crossbow. But we're probably going to do that... ...later. Just a little more. Just a little more. Yes. Money. Money. There's radiation everywhere. Ooh, 400 money. A one-handed axe. 
of a lot of critical chance. I mean, he doesn't need any of this. Doesn't need armor penetration. Skill power is better. Yeah. That's 16% skill power is better. Than the crit chance. I don't think... Wait a minute. Here. Alright. 58% critical chance. Actually... Sixty-four percent critical chance. Yes, can his Lord. can his thorns crit? Acknowledged. Well, should just go. Will do. Don't we'll punch him. <gasps> the thorns can crit. We'll do. Fuck. They can crit for double damage? But giving him extra... Oh, item damage plus 40%. So his thorns... But if I give him more armor... His thorns are stronger. Look at that axe. Looks cool. Thorns can crit. That changes things. So 20% chance of critting, or 64% chance of critting with the thorns. Oh, that. Oh. Uh, uh. Armor shattered, we don't care about. 20% armor shattered. I mean, enemies have like 80 to 100 armor at this point. Lowering that is good, but chances are my is not going to target what. Kane is killing. Is Kane is off blocking a portal and Mai is killing something else. And the rest don't care about armor. I mean, I guess the ants, the tree ants care about armor, because they're physical. But... It doesn't really matter. They have enough damage to go through that armor of enemies. But they are just, you know, there. So they get hit, not us. And he doesn't care about armor for his thorns. So that... Shatter armor is not that important. Armor penetration is not important at all. Stun chance, that's decent. 21% chance of stunning. And he attacks every like 2 point something seconds. And with this one every 3 seconds. Doesn't really have a lot of attack speed. L3 gen is fine, he doesn't care. Skill power. Skill power would only be for his things. 68%. 62%. I mean, still a lot more than we need. I think. Yeah. And he can dip from his own as well. Yeah, we read Gucci. And I mean, these two don't need it maxed anyways. The resistances. So... Yeah, we're gonna keep the crit. <laughs> because apparently thorns can crit. I think I've tested that at some point, but I, I kind of forgot. Nice. So wait a minute. What has the crit chance? 20% crit chance. Stun. 14 crit. Skill power, armor penetration. Stun, stun, stun. So the sword. The crit chance sword. 20%. Oh, that looks cool. I mean, this is 44% because it has the Ruin on it. Jagged Adamantine of Maelstrom. Ah. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna keep that axe on him. 15 magic. 14 skill power. I don't need this. 
What is this ring? Void resistance, mana, mina, movement, attack speed, mastery, or mastery. Shit. This is what we want to forge. So, I mean, I could, you know, just sit here, try to give him a, a crit sword that has double crit. Rapid Thunderstorm. Esoteric Thunderstorm. Maelstrom. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. So yeah, crits. Crits for him. Alright. That's pretty dope. Crits and armor is all he needs. Crazy. Ah, uh, sure. Oh! Blue pants! 18. Uh, 30, 27. Uh, this doesn't have the percentage that this one. But it's worse. It's penetration, though. There's more penetration. Although it doesn't have the uh, enchant. Some gloves. Crit gloves. With shit cooldown. Which is no cooldown. More. Need more. Ah, not just one more. But like ten more. Oh, there you go. Eleven more. Nice. Or that's more than eleven more. What am I doing? What am I saying? Alright, we got a secret library with, with, with a well or a fountain and a battle go somewhere. Actually, it's cut off. See, that's the secret room. I'm going to do this next time because because I'm done for today that's why so that's a scroll no I can't I shan't we stop here oh thanks thanks for watching hope you enjoyed all the min maxing all the unleashing of power and the the fashion show we we have with the uh, with the things you have 4000 monies actually let's let's go back that's the last thing <laughs> boron boron powers up boron is going to get Bunch of might. I mean, I can read all them whenever. And it's. Ah. Small chains. What does this even do? Oh, it stuns for 8 seconds. That's amazing. So I can stun. Ah, uh, that doesn't have anything. Oh, wow. That's for 14. 13 and 14. Honestly, 13, because this thing only gives damage. It doesn't matter. It's got the winter wall maxed out, frostbite or immobilization. Uh, immobilization might be better. Also, it's 25 meters versus 14. So I can just. And everybody would freeze for 4 seconds, which is not much. What else do we use? Oh yeah, cleave. There. Let's see if it changes. Oh my god, it's, it's fucking pink. Pink now. 
He unlocked, oh, he unlocked his rage. He's now lower accurate or story accurate from the uh, very calm blue. Uh, he has these void colored things emanating from him and his his skin is also, you know, his, his veins are also like pumping that. I think his eyes might be glowing with that. So he's taking off the whisper, I guess. And his, his, his head, that thing is getting more purple. He unleashed his rage. He's an upset thing. Honestly, I don't like that as much as the thing. You see, he was, he was nice and calming, blue. Now he's, he's rage. Damn. Kind of want to reload, but I'm not going to. So that's him, I guess. He turns into a rage golem instead of a snowman. That sucks. Anyways, we, we are going to finish this game <laughs> next time. For the fifth time. <laughs> uh, goodbye.